I gotta remember to. We're on. We're live. <clears throat> so what we have here is a mill of some sort. We're live. <clears throat> so what we have here is a mill. And I'm flying over it with my drone. I thought I'd share it. So eventually I'll go over and ask these guys um, if they want to have an inspection because this is like a five-story building. And I could fly over these pipes and... You there? Yeah. So... So what do you think of that? Look right down that pipe. <laughs> wow. Right. Nice. So anyhow. Hi y'all. How you doing out there? I I figured out how to run a video, so I thought I'd run a video before we all got started here. <clears throat> I know what we can do. There's a new, there's a new something else down here. Uh, let's see. Got to have some music, right? How's everybody doing? asking uh, where is that and uh, what what is the building that is a Grange that's uh, local and I just tried it out so flew over it trying out the drone <clears throat> anyhow how's everybody doing we got Mike up in here Mike is freshly out of the hospital yep so Let's talk about that real quick. How you doing, Mike? I'm doing well. Uh, well, yeah. better than better than a couple weeks ago. Wow. So, um, so I hear you were a little stubborn to uh, go in, eh? Well, can you do you want to talk about that part or? Well, yes. I mean, it, I was and I wasn't. Um, I mean, quite honestly. Um, I uh, started having chest pains when we got back from a short drive. I thought I may just need to go and, uh, you know, so I cramps, use the bathroom, whatever. Sure. Um, <clears throat> I came back out. I wasn't still, I was still not feeling well. Um, and I know that, I know that all the classic signs, mm. the tightness of the chest, okay. the loss of, feeling in the arm, um, okay. the tingling. I'm like, yeah, these are classic signs of a heart attack just coming on. Um, I had uh, Amy come out. Well, uh, Jess had Amy come out, do blood pressure and whatnot. Um, sky, <clears throat> was hot, sky high. And I said, uh, I'm not trying to alarm anybody, but... Uh, Think I'm having a heart attack. So, Pretty much. Um, but yeah, ended up at the hospital at DER and uh, got me out back, hooked up to uh, monitors and whatnot, um, where I uh, apparently coded one time. But Which means? I was dead. <laughs> okay. You didn't sign up for that, but that's what happened. Ouch. Uh, that night, I uh, they uh, removed one blockage through the uh, main artery going up through the groin. Yep. And uh, Tuesday, uh, they did a, a triple. So. Wow. <clears throat> but, uh, oh. and I just barely realized um, what day saturday was okay 
when I was there. It would have been my father's birthday. Hello. Yeah. So well, let's celebrate, right? Woo. <laughs> um, so somebody was looking out for me. There you go. Wow. Man, it's glad you're back, dude. Because oh you yeah, know, we've both both you and I had a scare. But now, um, yeah. I've been the, the last cigarette basically I had was um, Saturday on the eighth. Um, I had try I will try a little puff of one just to, right. every so often just to remind me why I'm not doing it. Okay, thank you. Um, so you heard it, it here disgusting. first. It tastes that disgusting. he's now done what? Smoke free. Smoke no free. More. Okay. Can we get a what do we want? You want a one or a two, Mike? What do you want the what do you want? Either one. Thumbs up, thumbs, ones. Zeros, no mores, right? Yeah. Awesome, man. High five. Can you reach that far? <laughs> here we go. All right, buddy. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. So um Tonight's topic is kind of like behind us or over our heads or kind of where you're at. Right. Small spaces. And this and for me you have is, been living in one for what? Two years on the road? Uh, well, um, for me, um, the five by 10, almost five years. Going, This is going into my fifth year. Wow. Five uh, by and, 10. Yeah. Well, I started out in my car. In February of 2017, I didn't get the um, cargo trailer until October of 2017. Okay. So I started out in my car and then moved up to the cargo trailer and been in it since. That's a long time. <clears throat> but you've been in there for... All but the last what eight nine months by yourself, and that was yeah. lots of room, right? So yep. that was plenty of room. Yep. And then and now you're kind of sharing that. So yep. <laughs> um, so uh, you know, I, we're looking at upgrading eventually. Um, mm -hmm. I would like to uh, get into a hello, Daryl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, I, I would like to personally uh, probably get into like a. Six by twelve, six by fourteen. Yeah. Tops seven by fourteen. Dual axle. Yeah. That would be tops. Yeah, I think the focus for me would be to make sure that you have the vehicle that's going to be legit exactly. to haul that. I think that's right. I mean, because that's, that's where the other thing is. That's the other thing. <clears throat> um, I know the limit of my truck is five thousand. I think fifty five hundred pounds. Okay. So what can I do to bring it be under that but a little bit bigger of a trailer? Yeah. Yeah. And so but cuz that's kind of where I'm at. I have a Subaru, okay? I have a Subaru Forester and it's supposedly the limit was 1500, but I went and got cocky and pulled 2200 and yep. it was fine. Yep. And I went over 7,000 feet and I never felt that I was overloading it, but that was for a very short one-time trip. Okay. So then I have a trailer like Mike's got, I have a six by 10, I believe it is. And, um, it's, it starts out at 1400 pounds and I, I'm sure that I'll put another 1400 pounds in it. So that means a three to 3,500 axle. It's a 3,500 axle. And I need at least a three, what, a, what would you go over Mike? If you got three thousand, you're pulling. Would you go to four or five thousand? You want to be over the vehicle to pull it, right? Right. So you don't get a thirty-five hundred pound pulling vehicle to pull thirty-five hundred pounds. Yeah, you want more. So I got a truck, and that truck will pull fifty-five hundred pounds easily, and yet it doesn't run. So I, I accepted buying this van, which will pull. Four, uh, five, six thousand pounds. So there, so I'm good. But that's what I'd highly recommend is you got to know what's going to be pulling it if you're going to the trailer out. But I love the trailer out, Mike. That's 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 great. You've done that for so long. But yeah, I mean, and it's you know, um, 
the more we look at it um, with what we have at least, um, there's some things we're redoing and it will definitely make more space. Um, you know, plus the fact that um, we'll, you know, with adding, you know, like an awning out to the side or oh, yeah. um, a easy up over the back, um, you know, there that opens up more space and outdoor space. Um, now, do you have the ramp or the doors in the back? That? Do you have the ramp or the doors? The ramp. Okay. Now, so I've purchased two, two fold-down legs to make my platform level, flat yep. like a patio. Yep. Yeah. Um, I have uh, jack stands right now to do that. Okay. But uh, basically, it's, yeah, it's like a walkout patio and yeah. put the easy up over that, put a couple chairs yeah. out there. Nice. Because then if it's raining, you have, you're up out of the ground. You're not so light in. Yep. Is that my mic going crazy? Uh, do you hear anything? I don't okay. hear anything. Okay, okay. All righty. So I've passed out uh, the link for a few. Um, if somebody else wants to t come up and talk about their vehicle, their their space out on the road, I'd love that. I know Lance is in a Class C, and Charlie Grace is in, uh, was that a Class B? A van, fancy van. And Erica, what are you running these days? You were in a big semi-truck. Okay, hubby's in the tractor truck five, six days a week, almost four years, all that. Okay. All right, Mike, scoot over. Try to grease. Hey, how are you? Awesome. Awesome. Good to see you. Um, um, good to see y'all too, Mike. Good to see you up and around. Looks awesome. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, lo I love your topic tonight. I got to tell you, this is fun because I love tiny living. Yeah. So... This is the inside of a tiny home. Don't know which one it was, but I've been designing tiny homes for quite a long time. And um, yeah, but go ahead, Charlie Grace. No, no, no. I'll I was just going to say, I, I was looking as, as you're talking like, okay, my, my vehicle can pull so much weight. I'm like, I'm like yeah. Googling up and seeing what's out there that you could pull because there's really yeah. some really cool things. But Mike, like mm -hmm. you said, you want to find something a little bigger. Mm -hmm. It's hard to, you know, and I have friends who are in that um situation but then they forgot about when you start putting things inside the trailer how much weight it adds to it yep and that's yeah. that's always something to take into consideration um do you guys yeah. have anything in mind that you've seen i'm curious um not yet uh as far as for me at least uh i've been looking at a few um cargo trailers you know empty um right. and as long as i don't I feel if I don't go over 25, 2,800 pounds mm -hmm. empty, right. I should be safe um, because of the fact that I'm not really going to be adding much different than what I have now in it. Mm -hmm. So, because I, I want to try to get rid of stuff, not keep collecting <laughs> it. And I right. find... With bigger spaces, you collect more stuff. Absolutely. You do. You do. And I, I, I think that was, um, I know Lance has got a class C and I had a class C as well. And when I down, I actually downsized. I down, yeah. I was thinking about going to an A, but then I went to a B. Um, and the amount of stuff, mm. I was shocked at how much one, one I didn't need, let's be honest. And two, yeah. you're like, do I really need to bring these fancy dancy chairs or what was I really doing with this? You sort of get in that whole, everyone's got one. I better get one. What am I going to do if I don't have a black stone? We know whatever it is, um, <laughs> you know, but it's true. You start thinking like that. So um, I have a B, it's a van. It's a Dodge mm -hmm. Ram ProMaster 3500. And I could tow up to five, up to 5,500 pounds with that thing. So wow. I could yep. technically put a, um, a Oliver travel trailer on the back. Big fan of mm -hmm. Oliver travel trailers, an Airstream on the back, a small one. Wow. Um, yeah. I could do a, I think I could do a, a, a Winnebago mini, mini, micro mini. Um, I don't really want to. No. That's not really what I want to do. But if <laughs> I want to, or if I want to bring the kids with me and do like a whole camping thing, sure. that's a possibility. That's a distinct possibility. What about a doggy shampoo trailer? I, I, found, a, I found a dog wash car wash in Huntsville, yes. Alabama. Yeah. 
self-service though. I'm not, I'm not saying you're doing this. No, no, <laughs> it's no. Self-serve. Bring your own dog, bring your own shampoo. Oh. Yep. Yeah. That would yeah. be cool. Huh? That'd be cool. Yeah. But no, I'm, I love, I love my van. I love my um, floor plan. I mm -hmm. think it's one of the better floor plans out there. It's really open. Like how your picture's open. I like sure. the windows all the way around it. So when yeah. you're in it, you feel like yeah. you're more out of it. Um, but I, I think there's only a few things I would change really about the floor plan, but mm -hmm. everything else, man, I love. That is it. Now, at least you had the, the experience. Did you have anything before your class C? I've had two C's. Oh, wow. And I, and I, and I've been on a tour bus, so there's tour bus like pre yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And then you said you had a trailer, a pull trailer. Oh, I've never, I've never done a pull oh, you trailer. Get one. Okay. No, okay. No. I, I just like to drive it. I hate, <clears throat> I hate having to tow stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's the oddball thing. Yeah. Hitching and towing. Well, Mike's gone through some towing. Well, he had his bumper yanked right off. <laughs> Tow hey, this. My, 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 my Civic did well for a long time. <laughs> now, how many people would have guessed that a Civic is a tow vehicle? Mm, no hands raised. No hands raised. <laughs> I, I did that for, well, from October of 2017 up until... What um, June of last year? Wow! Wow! <laughs> so, oh my gosh, that's um, insane. And that's and, insane. I, and I have not only done the cargo trailer. Um, I took a twenty foot bass boat from New Hampshire to Indiana with the car mm -hmm. for a friend of mine and delivered that out there. I delivered a six by twelve cargo trailer from. Georgia up to New Hampshire for a friend that bought one. So yeah, that little car has uh, gone through a Check lot. Oh my gosh. But yeah. So Mike, you said you wanted to go to a dual axle. What's what's yes. the advantages or disadvantages that you know for that? Why would you want well, to do that? I know. Um, for one, if you do end up having a blowout. You have more time to get pull over and whatnot because absolutely. you still have three other wheels. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that's that's and you have the electric brakes, um, which help immensely with the regular, you know, on your brakes. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I have not looked into it that much yet. Sure. But only the stuff that I was reading, at least. Yeah. I um, I would recommend that, too, for as much hauling and distance and, you know, beings that that's your home. I would absolutely recommend that, too, because I was in um, Arizona. What was it? Not Mesa, but uh, where's the fancy center Santa of it? Like, yeah. Uh, Scottsdale, but, Phoenix. Up north. Um, Flagstaff. Yeah. And then just south of that, <laughs> but Lucky, um, uh, Sedona, Sedona, yes, thank you. <laughs> it is so that that was the most beautiful place I've ever seen yet, right? Yeah. But what was what was discouraging is that they had two lane roads, Mike, with curbs. Yeah. There's no there's no pulling over. No. I'm going. No. What would happen if you had a blowout on a single trailer, let alone a car? Right. Well, you know. I mean, that, that, that's a really good point. And let's talk about that. You have yes. to be prepared. And yes. even when you have small things, you got to be prepared. I'll be the first person to say, I do not have a spare tire right now for my van. And oh. that's one of the topics I was talking about the other day of just because you have AAA or Sam's Club or whatever the heck you've got out there or good Sam's um, doesn't mean they always get to you in a timely manner. So you mm -hmm. might be stuck out there for an hour, hour and a half, two or three hours. Yeah, you know, you know, Mike. Um, yeah, we all Guilty. Yeah, Guilty Guilty. I don't have a spare for the trailer or the truck right now. Yep. Ouch. Ouch. Yep. It's scary. It's really scary. And we've seen people like, uh, you know, a few other YouTubers out there and they're gone. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yep. Linda, I sent it to you. Linda, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. I, so I would highly recommend that if people are going to build out a trailer, um, Get it as small as you can, yet dual axle, because mm -hmm. if you get a flat, especially if you have some reaction time that Mike might have to say, oh, was that a flat? Yeah, I got to pull over. Is anybody there? Um, yeah, you get a little more reaction time on that, <laughs> you know? 
And now that Mike's not smoking, he'll be able to pull over faster. So, <laughs> right? So he won't have to put the cigarette down and, <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> Anywho. But um, Mike, on on and then on there, there's the fender wells too. So on a seven foot, it can be inside the trailer or outside the trailer. So think about that too. I would want outside. Yeah, it gives you a little more space. Yep, on the inside, <laughs> and you have a square box, and right. then the length they have V noses, which adds a couple more feet internally. Like I've seen a lot of put people put their kitchen up there, or mm -hmm. come in from the nose and they make it a closet or the bathroom up there, something like that. But what I've done in my homework was, is that I found out that they're not as aerodynamic as we think. We're thinking arrow is going to cut the wind, right? Right. Okay. But the sharp edges create eddies currents and causes drawback. Mm -hmm. And actually you get worse gas mileage with an A-frame trailer. And they look sweet. They look gorgeous. And you get a little extra turn because the tongue's longer. But... I've seen two guys do their reports and they've lost anywhere between one to two gallons per mile. On oh, those. wow. So, yeah. Wow. Some serious with drag a, on those. With a Venos, you mean? Yes, with a Venos. Yeah. Yeah. Look. See, I, I, I've often wondered about that. And I, we, I think we were talking about that a while back as well. Sure. I have brought uh, it up. Because you mentioned some of those. Um, was it you that met, had mentioned putting some of the. Thing, I, I can't remember what they're called. Yeah, vent. But the vent to yeah. reduce the drag or something. Right. So um, Gone Boondocking uh, has a little tiny trailer, and he had to put a little extra scoop, mm -hmm. shall we say? Yeah. Because it creates a there's, a, there's a vent in the top driver's side and a bottom back passenger side to create a positive pressure under there. So there's no, so the dirt will stay out. And uh, <laughs> can't get him in there. So, so with a, a V nose, they weren't getting that. It was going straight past the sides, and those little <laughs> vents are on the side. So that's how I started looking into that. And then another gentleman did. He had two identical trailers. One was a V nose. One was a bull nose. And he went the exact same distance, both empty, just here and back, here and back. And he lost his up to two miles to the gallon. Wow. Yeah. That's so, big. That's, that's enough. Yeah. That's noticeable. When you're getting eight well, miles to the gallon, that's a big deal. Oh, yeah. And when you're going yeah. some super long distance. But yeah. if you're in a windy state and you need to cut through the wind, it might drive better. But I don't know. You know, you but they look great. You, know, they look you don't nice. know the mileage I'm getting in my van. I'll, that's all I'm saying. You guys yeah. just don't want to know that. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's really good. Yeah. Just get on down the road. You'll get there. <laughs> fill it up. It's all good. Yeah. So... Yeah. Of course, I'm way behind in the chat now. So, Linda, I've I sent out the I sent out the link to you. And if not, if somebody wanted to get on the list, let me look for my little cheat sheet here, and email me, so you can be on the list because I'm gonna limit it to you know focus topics. You know. Have you guys ever heard of a bolus tra uh, trailer? A who? B O W L U S bowl or bowless bowless. I don't know. No. It's, it looks like it looks like an airstream. It, we talked about aerodynamics. You know, it's got the round yeah. that goes to a point at the end as opposed to in the front. That's oh, okay. really amazing. It's really cool. It's yeah, that's aerodynamic. aerodynamic trailer around. Oh, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, I mean, even the um, what's the silver ones? Airstream. Airstreams. Yeah. Yeah. Because they were made from airplane. Aluminum, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. Uh, aerodynamic, yeah. Even though they're a round thing, but it beats a box, right? <laughs> so it does. Yeah. It does. So, but anyhow, yeah, like you're saying, anything you're going to be pulling and and tugging along, you're what? You're lucky to get 12, 14, right? Oh yeah. 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 So most RVs get anywhere from eight to ten. <laughs> when I when I had my big Class C, I had a was it a F four fifty? Oh, yeah? oh my nice gosh. big cab and it was 28 feet i was getting about eight mm. that was that was the yeah my first road trip i got 14 to the first pump and then nine to the second one <laughs> Ooh. i can i can get up to 23 i can get some obnoxious wow. gas mileage i know yeah. it's horrible it gets better gas mileage than my other cars they're like 10 years old i'm like how can this big old van get better highway miles than like my toyota rav i don't understand it 
Right. So I, I, I was going to say, but, I certainly miss my gas mileage when I said that without pulling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Hilda was sitting on the side of the road for eight hours waiting for a tow truck. So that's the deal. So let's talk about this because this is important. I'm, I'm a, I'm a AAA member and yeah. sometimes they're big dead spots and they've got to call somebody or do something. And one time I got locked out of my, my RV and I was mm -hmm. at an event and they said, well, they had no one to service that particular area. But then I went to someone and said, oh yeah, you can just call the lock and key Smith down the road, but he wasn't a AAA guy. So I had to pay for it out, out of pocket. Yeah. And it was ridiculous. I was like, what if I'm stuck somewhere? The whole idea behind having that is so, you know, in case of emergency. Yeah. Now I've always wanted, I've asked this question a couple times, but I'm not really getting the answer is that how above and beyond does AAA better than just having it on your insurance? It depends I mean, why on do the people service. go out of the way to get AAA? Right. It, it depends on the service. So let's say, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what I use every year. I'm, I'm, I have the family plan. So it's for me and the kids because sure. I can't be with them at all times. Someone gets locked out of the car at least once a year. Oh yeah. Someone loses a key and has to get a key made. That's important too. So let's say you lost your key and you can't oh, even okay. try your car because it's a push button or something. That's a big deal. The towing is fantastic. So if you got to get your car towed from, you know, a cracker barrel parking lot to mm -hmm. the you know, Ford dealership or whatever, we get that mm -hmm. like two, two to three times a year of some, some sort. So having it on your insurance, I don't know what your insurance would cover other than maybe a rental car. No. Yeah. Cause I got, I made sure that I had towing when I left out of here and my bill would have been $1,200. Yeah. And I had it on my insurance. Yeah. So, but yeah. and, and, uh, and I think honestly, having it on your insurance, say your car insurance, you look at every, every claim that you make on those things, typically on auto insurance, it will raise your rate just okay. a little bit. Triple okay. A sort of flat fee. And you're like, it's a service. Right. I'm paying for a service. Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell. Mike's got one. Well, I don't have triple A. I just have, I go through Geico and I do their roadside assistance mm -hmm. okay. with it. So that covers towing, flat tires, gas, run out of gas, um, lockouts. Um, yeah. So I, I don't know how much more, you know, I could better with triple A. I, I don't know. I've as never long had as it. Penalize you. Yeah. As long as if you use the service and you're not penalized, you know, they up your rates or something. Yep. I think it's fantastic. So, um, and I've only had to do the lockout once and well, I tried the towing, um, this other past time, but, um, they, the only things on, on the, um, the, uh, Bronx expressway, you have to be licensed to do towing on there. Wow. Uh, and so only certain companies can come get you. What? Yeah. yeah. Little bracket. <clears throat> we waited an hour and a half for at least the police to show up and then another half an hour for the tow truck to show up. Yeah. And somebody came by, stopped that did towing. And he's like, unfortunately, I can't pull you. <laughs> Crazy. So... Well, George, I have to ski daddle. I know that oh. you are on West Coast time and I'm on East Coast. I know. This well, is like way I'm past definitely. my bedtime. Aww. I hate to say it. But I, I will say right now, I know some people, they're uh, posting, they're, they were at Tampa. I was a little jealous, just saying. But it still still Who, looked where? a little chilly over there at the Tampa RV oh, yeah. show. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw yeah. that, yeah. here, Yeah. All right, kiddo. Well, glad you came up. Good to hear I your guess. view yeah. of it. Yeah. And thanks for that input. Good to see you, Charlie. Right. Cool. Good to see you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. Thanks, Mike. Same place. <laughs> All righty. Cool. So Lance has he Lance gets fourteen miles a gallon in his uh, diesel. Really? Or is it? He says it's diesel. That's way better gas mileage. Now it's always confusing to me that people are always bragging about diesel vehicles as well, Mike, and and yet diesel gas or diesel costs more, and yet Most then they. And then they say they get more gas mileage. I'm going, but you're paying more at the pump. So are they doing the math? <laughs> yeah. Because um, 14 miles. I don't know. Because I know. Miles, you, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, I know it used to be. Yeah. Diesels were known to be better gas mileage vehicles. 
But when I mean now that you know with gas prices skyrocketing and everything else, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, um, I, I know. Um, yeah. you know, so it's, it used to be like you know longer, you know, longer lasting. You know, if, if you took care of the engine, um. You know, a vehicle that has, you know, 150,000 miles for a diesel is just barely broken in, you know? Oh, yeah. So, but, and I just wanted to touch on, I saw Dana say, mentioning Life360. Um, that's an app, um, and it is and it is good um, for uh, definitely families. Oh, yeah, and good uh, Sam. Um, we, I had that for a while. Um, when I first started out traveling and I only had a few people on my in circle for life 360. So they would always know where I was at no matter what. But, yeah. What is, I haven't heard of life 360. That's a separate insurance. Uh, no, 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 it's an app. Uh, it's an app on your phone. Mm -hmm. um, I know I had the free one. I didn't know about, um, I, Unless this is something different, Dana. Um, but they had a, a pay one. Um, but I didn't, didn't know about the um, lockout and towing. But I know um, with um, the app, um, it'll show you where you're at at all times, where somebody else is at all times, um, whether they're moving. Um, it does crash detection. Okay. Um, so, um, uh, A to Z Dan has that that it's a little module that plugs into the OSB report, so it can monitor all that through the engine is running or not running or yeah. all these things, GPS, a whole lot of different things, and I think it's only a few like ten bucks a month or something. Yeah, you can uh, also get it through um, some of, some of the insurance companies offer it, um, and. Uh, offer better rates depending on how you drive and you're braking hard or not. Um, oh yeah. Accelerating. Yep. Yeah. I bet you there's a gyro in there too. If you're changing lanes fast too, because if you're, you might be doing the speed limit, but you know, Oh, take that exit. Let's cut in front of some big RV, you know? Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 15 a month for premium. Yep. Okay. Watching live stream. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, V. We got Wade and Camp Goer One. Linda is down in Quartzsite. They've been pushing Kenny around and having some fun down there. I haven't seen much from him. Maybe because uh, the airport kind of borrowed his laptop. Did you guys hear that one? No. Kenny had a search, and they didn't put his laptop back in his belongings. Oh. Yeah, that'll set the boy back. Ouch. So diesel engines get way better gas mileage. I'm not hearing this way better when I still hear a truck says 13 miles a gallon. You know? <laughs> it's worth paying more. Um, I know that if I was towing and going cross country and I had a big fifth wheel, I'd get a dually diesel. Show sure enough, I would. Dual axle diesel truck. But I want to go light and less, and that's what I was kind of talking about with Mike, is that you want to have the most space, but you want to have it really as small as you can go. So, yeah, my threshold, Mike, was I think 12 foot. So 7 by 12, I think, is the sweet spot. And then you can have your bed left and right, you know, east or west, whatever they want to call it, you know. Because yep. I, I wanted to go that route because I'm 6 foot. So 6 Stand foot. Yep. Yeah. And Stand then, of course. shower in there, you know. Full yeah. size bed, stand up shower. Look at that. As she's laying down. <laughs> One trick I would do in an, in a in a trailer or like that a, a cargo trailer is put the shower on the back passenger side, so then it can drain to the curb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. But depends on your plumbing. So have all the plumbing on the uh, the passenger side. Oh yeah. man. So, yeah, I've looked at buses, not fond of the, the schoolie. I'm not fond of this, all the windows and 
yeah, I'm not fond of the big buses. I've I've looked at shuttle buses. They're a little lower profile and and bigger windows that, uh, you know, it's better than the rattly, you know, 16, 20 windows on a school bus. Um, and then a small shuttle that's like maybe a 16 to 20 passenger one, not a monster one. I think it's like four, four and a half windows. And then there's the ones where it has the, the handicap ramp or whatever one accessible, either on the front by the driver or the passenger door or in the back but way in the back passenger side and then have a, a door in the back. So you have both. So otherwise when you open the ramp, you'd have to put down that ramp to access that. So I'd want a, a cargo door in the back and those are rare. So to have a cargo door in the back, the ramp in the back, and then a door in the front. And none of those shuttles are like those school bus doors too. So not yep. fond of that part, but, and then having a regular driver door is kind of nice too. Yeah. But, I think that and a trailer would be the ultimate because it's, you know, a 450 truck engine and that you yeah. could uh, haul anything. But uh, I don't know. I want to downsize, too. I, I know the RV is not for me in the long run, but I have it. I paid way little for it. And so far, I think that I could get everything I put into it. I could get it paid for. So, yeah. See, we were looking at I was looking at shuttle buses and whatnot. Um, at one point, but when we were looking at them, mm -hmm. not many offered a passenger front seat. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know any that do. Yeah, I, I think I see. I, I and I, it wasn't even for for sale, but we saw a few that went by us and whatnot that mm -hmm. had it. But yeah. everything we looked at for sale, not not offered. Wow. Yeah, like a like a step van. Um, I've been in those, and they're just rattlier than heck, man. And they'll have the drop down seat for like their helper, like a UPS guy yeah. delivery. I've actually <laughs> been a helper. Yeah, that's a joke of a. Seat. Those are uncomfortable as hell. Oh yeah, it's like yeah, it's great for you know half hour ride, you know, back to the shop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fifteen a month. Okay, yeah, I'm way late. Kenny said the link didn't show up. Well, anybody that got my email got the link because that's how he got up here, right? Yeah, I got the email. <laughs> so V, Kenny, Wade. Uh, Check the email. <laughs> Lance. Uh, <laughs> Barefoot. <laughs> Y'all got an email. Y'all got a link. Hello, Badge. Badge is here. I almost sent Badge the link. <laughs> and Backroads. Uh, did you get a new phone number? Cause I've been calling you for a month. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened, man. You get snowed in. It's been like minus nine where he's at and a, like a foot of snow every week. Yeah. Yeah. So where am I at? Who to miss? Who to miss? Sorry, gang. All right. What do we got here? I got a big convo. So hi, G. Oh, and uh, okay. It's funny to use 30 year old, 36 foot diesel pusher. Yeah. Gets nine miles a gallon. Towing a trailer. Oh, yeah. It's like, okay, okay, yeah. Which would you rather have, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. For luxury, you know you want the diesel pusher, right? Yeah, well, you know. But you can go a lot more places towing something, right? You know, yep. small-wise. But, uh, yeah, eight. Yeah, hmm. Well, the diesel gets eight. That's what he sent. Yeah, it's diesel. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, I was looking at a huge, well, a 450 diesel flatbed and then figure out what I want to build on it later. But it's a crew cab, uh, full, what? There's a four by four diesel yes. flatbed. Yeah. yeah. If I could find it quickly, I would. But no, oh, I think I know. I know I can find it. What else we got? Vanquish said. Yeah, I sent those a lot of a lot of you got the link. Wade's got the link. Badge, welcome in, buddy. Appreciate you much. Magic number is 10. Yeah, hello. That's it. Yeah, an E50. Stan's here. Uh, Stan's got the link. Okay. Well, I'll just do this then. 
I'll try that, everybody. <laughs> Anyone who want to come up, we're good. No, you're opening it up. <laughs> I know. It's been pretty quiet. Okay, so shuttle. Yeah, it's an E450. That's what I was looking at, man. Badges in the house. We got back roads. Julie. Yep, right there. Okay, here we go. We caught up. It's going well with you. Yep. Still in Texas, bumming around. There we go. All right, cool. So do you have any ideas on a vehicle that you would have to pursue or your truck's doing pretty good? We're, our, so, truck's, our truck so far is still working out pretty good. Um, we had to uh, replace a rear caliper and a brake line um, just recently. Um, but you know, 20 years old almost 20 year old truck, you're going to need, you know, you're going to expect that. Um, but the, um, the nice thing is it's barely 80,000 miles on it right now. Oh yeah. So, so was it, I mean, pardon my French, was it written hard and put away wet? I mean, that's like, you no, know, it's no, no. Truck. The, oh. the the person that we bought the person we bought it from hit their father and you know you 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 hear the thing about only driven on Sundays to church blah 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 he literally only drove it to the post office and back well and I bet you that uh, that badge would say yeah these people that thinking they're getting this great deal on it on a vehicle that's not got but 80,000 miles on it and 20 plus years old, um, all the seals are rotted out because it wasn't driven. You got to keep the, the lubrication going. Okay. I mean, um, it's feast or famine. And <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah. I'm not a mechanic. Fortunately, all the seals and everything um, are good. Um, okay. The person that um, had it when his father passed away um, did all the maintenance on it, um, kept up on, you know, the oil changes and the, you know, the seals, everything. Yeah. Um, they rebuilt old cars and resold them. So they at least I knew what I was getting. Mm -hmm. um, granted, the um, underside was crusty because of New England weather. You know? Um, but. Oh, yeah. Hey. Well, it's, well, it's a nice truck. Well, that's like mine. I bought mine and it ran great. And then that's why I bought it. It's like the, the van or the, the RV. I mean, when you can reach in a vehicle and turn it on, you don't have to step on the gas. And the guy said it hadn't started for a month. You know, that's pretty pretty darn good, right? Yep. And it's purred like a kitten. And then it went went south. Yeah. You're going, what happened? What did I do? You know? So. All righty, Mike. Let's get over. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as I was saying earlier, uh, I waited between San Antonio and El Paso. Um, I broke down pulling. I was in a... U-Haul? No, it wasn't a U-Haul. It was my oh, that's truck. What you said. No, you were the, pulling a U-Haul, right? I was pulling a U-Haul. Yeah. Um, I had a blowout right next to a truck. Now, was yeah, the... Inside, no, you... I was on the outside lane. <clears throat> so let me get this right. You were towing a U-Haul trailer, and the trailer had the blowout. No, my truck okay. did. Okay, okay. And I waited eight and a half hours for a person to come to help me change it because my jack was too small for it because how high my tires were. Oh, yeah. And the truck sat up too high, and that's the way I bought it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, my first video, I, I don't know if I put this much in it, but I was two inches off a one lane highway. Uh, oh. It was two lanes, but there was a dividing wall. So there was nobody exchanging. So it was one way that way, highway. Yeah. And I was two inches off the road. I put a cone and re my reflective jacket on the back ladder and I had an alternator go out and wow. I'd never experienced that. So I didn't know. I mean, the light was on the dash that a battery was there, but I'm going, whatever. I got two batteries in the back. I'm good, right? And <laughs> I didn't know, but it just slowly just drains your power. And, yeah, you start sputtering and popping and going south, right? 
and yeah. I couldn't get off the road. And I go to tall, call the tow truck at freaking midnight and they go, yeah, good luck with that one. And <laughs> I couldn't get that anybody to pull over to help to get a call. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get a call out. And an ambulance stopped because it's by law that they have to stop because they don't know what's going on, you know, but sure. they had to take their person to the hospital. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> but they couldn't help me. And uh, yeah. So my toe was $1,200. As we talked about earlier, I used my insurance. Now somebody was saying, well, that's your rates are going to go up. And mine never went up when they like had a five to card discount. Out. Yeah. Well, I have Geico. And it yeah. covers everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same with me. Even my, even my insurance covers uh, when I have accidents or whatever. It covers everything. Mm -hmm. I have the max, and I pay only two hundred bucks for everything. Right. The towing, the unlocking, the whatever. On, on what vehicle though? It was on my Ford Ranger, and okay, it's on right. my truck I have now. It's on every vehicle I've ever had. Sure. Yeah, I pay. I think for, between four to five hundred a year for full coverage on my RV, and that's towing and everything, and that's just that vehicle. But <clears throat> yeah, when you were talking about going to smaller vehicles, I lived out of a Ford Ranger pickup truck for a little over, off and on for four and a half years. What? You had a shell on there or a camper? Nope. My son slept in the back of the truck. I slept in the cab of the truck. What was it? An extra cab? It was one of those little extended ones. Okay. With the seats that went sideways behind the driver and the passenger, and I don't like those kind of seats. Yeah. Yeah. When people say you've never experienced this or this, and I look at them and say, oh. "Yes, I have. I've experienced a lot of things." Yeah. Well, I, I love the little Ford. Bus stop, so, yeah, I love the little Ford Rangers, but they just don't pull much. They their oh, limit yes, is fifteen hundred. Oh yes, they do, they, darling. They say their limit is fifteen hundred. Yeah, I so pulled, I, I need to pull five thousand pounds. Go ahead, Mike. I pulled, oh, he's just saying hi to Ron. <laughs> oh, well, say hi to Stan. Hello, Stan. Hey, how is everybody? I pulled a Good. trailer with a you an old classic car on it and it weighed more than my truck yeah well and they darling, told me you can't pull it <laughs> no no you could have blown your motor so i'm just saying you need to know what you're supposed to know is that was only supposed to pull 1500 pounds so don't get cocky like this young lady folks okay <laughs> i'm just saying that's why i didn't buy one i love them well oh, yeah. mine's a toe thing on the steering wheel it has like a little button you push and it helps tow things so <laughs> i asked before i did pulled it i asked i think that's the look what i can do button <laughs> yeah stan what are you pulling these days <laughs> well i i still have the uh ambulance that gets you know nine miles per gallon it's a 7.3 it's a very heavy ambulance body i know right and then an uh I also have a uh, 2003 Class A that's 31 feet, and it gets about nine to ten miles per gallon. I mean, I don't, right. I don't drive easy either. I'm, a, I, I <laughs> you like the rumble? You mean you have a lead foot? <laughs> yes, I do. Yep. Yeah. We got Ron in the house. What's this? I pulled 2600 on a two wheel 2.3 Ranger. Yeah. You can say no problem, and I pulled 2,200 on my Subaru over a 7,000-foot mountain, and then over, what, six or seven little 1,000-plus mountains. But, yeah, I'd only do that once. When the, when the manufacturer that. says <laughs> that it's supposed to pull a max of 1,500 pounds, I don't think I want to get cocky with that. I'm just saying, folks. <laughs> it's your vehicle. Do what you want. No, my next one I want is definitely going to be able to have to pull 5,000 pounds and and then you're looking at 15 miles a gallon. Yeah, right here. Yeah. 15, 16. Tennessee to Pennsylvania with an 800. What's this? 880? Maybe 8,800 pounds camper, right? The Ford Escape 2 with the factory tow package. Yeah, and that's the key word too, factory tow package. Because just throwing a hitch on the back end doesn't, again, doesn't make you 
bulletproof. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. you mean I j just throwing the hitch on the back of my Civic didn't do it? Nobody. <laughs> he did it for a while. <laughs> he did for See what he did? And the, and the hint, I think I think Jessica's got it more than anybody, right? Is she was driving when the hitch fell off, right, Mike? No, no, no. She was in the car when I, the hitch fell off. But... Okay, okay. But she was oh, with you. Yeah. But yeah, the hitch fell off. That's when you know. Well, you shouldn't part of it fell. Part of it fell off only because of the fact that it was rotted. Yeah. Okay. Fine. <laughs> no tow yeah. factor involved. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So. Yeah. Mike was talking about his little truck. I I got to see it. I don't know three or four weeks ago. Yeah. I met him and uh, Matt. And we went out and messed around a little bit. And that truck is it, it really a good looking truck for the age, I'll tell you. Yeah. I, I think we did good. Yeah, I, I think you did. did but I think it's like any vehicle, like I, I don't have a problem buying older vehicles. It's like this class A motorhome I bought. I bought it, I don't know, six months ago. Yeah. And I was worried because it only had uh, 13,000 miles on it. And wow. like you said, things tend to dry out. The, the, and that's what I was worried about. So I, I, it's like I'm looking all over it. I went out and took it for a test drive. Well, typically, I mean, like, I don't let people test drive my vehicles without being with them. This guy hands yeah. me the keys and he says, hey, go take it for a drive. Yeah. And so I'm telling you what, I slammed that thing. I mean, I'm popping it into <laughs> passing gear. I'm pushing it because I wanted to say, if something's bad, man, I want to know. But I, I still think anytime you buy a vehicle that's 12, 15 years old or more, you, you're, you just plan on spending 1500 bucks right off the top just to get, you know, I don't care if it's get tires it or some yeah. mechanical stuff, electrical things. What There's always something, you know. Yeah. That's true. So you lucked out. You didn't have to build out the ambulance, right? It was totally built out for you, right? Right. You bought it as is? Yeah. And one of the one of the things I saw is it's not very tall, right? No, mine actually is tall. It's that's okay. why I bought it. Is I kept looking for one like it is. It's probably six one, and I'm yeah. six three, so I barely have to just kind of turn my head down a little bit, and I can stand <laughs> up in it. Okay. Well, we have a we have a new guest ready. This doesn't look like hey Steve. Oh yeah. <laughs> this doesn't look like me. The light is way too bright. It's okay, fine. <laughs> oh my God! Shine Whoopsie! Shining the light on this. Hello, beautiful people. Uh, there you okay, go. fine. <laughs> I see that little owl popping. Okay, there it is. I oh, saw V. I think. <laughs> so. Oh. oh, the V family hiding behind their pants. Yeah. Yeah. So, Steve and V, what uh, what vehicles? Hi, Michael. You... Is she there? Are they there? Yes, we're still here. Okay, just hiding. What vehicles do you have or plan to have, or how how small of living accommodations have you had? I can hear my PC. Is that my PC? Can that noise? Yeah, we're talking tiny tiny spaces tonight. Yeah, I know. Uh, we have an SUV. Mm-hmm. 3500. Mm-hmm. Fuller 2900 RV. Don't get much gas mileage, let me tell you that, but we still do. Oh, well, that kind of came up. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it pulls well. Hey, if I can drive it, <laughs> we're good. I can't put my 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 teardrop on my little my little Toyota. My Toyota I can't pull that much. Oh, come on, man. Mike's Mike's says that pull it. <laughs> well, well, ours, ours, our teardrop is a uh, custom built frame, so it's extra long. Oh. So our teardrop is 14, 14 feet long. That's not bad. And our RV is, is is twenty. So. So, I had no idea that what I was going to get when I went over the hill to buy my motorcycle, and they gave me an eighteen foot, eighteen hundred pound trailer to haul back a two hundred pound motorcycle. <laughs> I'm going. I don't need this 18 foot, 1800 pound trailer. They said, "Yeah, you're going to take that because you're going out of town." I went, "Oh snap!" Yeah, that was not good. That's a lot of trailer. Yeah, yeah and my car was limited, and I didn't know until after I got home. It was limited at 1500 pounds of towing. 
Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And the first thing I did though is I went to the to the oil and I changed my oil and transmission Whoa. fluid before I started towing. And gee, you're talking yeah. about you're talking about going from like Reno area over to Sacramento area? Yeah, over the hill. Oh my goodness. To sea level. No idea that boy, you talk yeah. about a, a long wow. uphill pull. Yeah, I was like, yeah. But 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 Stan, I went to the Oregon coast. I went to zero. Oh gee. Okay, then I thought, oh well, the I five is a really big hill from California into Oregon. It's a really big hill. You come back down into Oregon, right? I said, well, I'm not going to climb that, right? I got cocky and I went to the coast. And I went up a thousand, down a thousand, up a thousand, down a thousand, up two thousand, down a thousand, yeah. up three thousand, down a thousand. Exactly. I climbed like seven hills to get to that other seven thousand foot. Yeah, I, <laughs> don't go that route. Uh -huh. So I would have gone just up one hill, up another hill, and I'd have been home. Yeah. But I still pulled well over two thousand pounds and didn't even didn't know I shouldn't have done that. So, but uh, let's see what else we got. Okay, so mine is a eighty-seven fiberglass six by nine box full time okay i will be probably get to use casquia casita yeah. Oh, yeah yeah little trailers those the are only thing, uh, in the, the casitas are really nice i mean they are in fact i've got a neighbor that just picked one up down the street and they waited like a year over a year they ordered it <laughs> and uh, waited yeah. over a year for it but wow. I the, and I don't th I think Ron's pretty tall and I'm surprised because the casitas sure. most of the casitas are fairly short. Yeah, aren't they like the the scamps? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very cool. similar. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so they're pulling two thousand, and the capacity is thirty five hundred. Awesome. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah, don't go one to one <laughs> or over. Because <laughs> yeah, some I'll of these guys you. they buy. Go ahead, V. I was going to say, ours were, you know, we had like that 600 to play with. Sure. The camper was like not packed because I was like, I'm not taking a chance. But we mm. went to a professional person yeah. who, 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 um, they're known can Canada wide. Yeah. For, uh, they put on a special hitch. So they, they calculated the exact hitch that we needed for mm. our vehicle. And for the trailer that we were pulling, like yeah. there are such specialists that a small, a smart car can pull, like some other car, like some other RV that you think it's not possible, but they 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 calculated like the ratios and all that. So they had a Corvette. <laughs> they had a Corvette uh, with a trailer hitch on it pulling something. Yeah. So they had the weight distribution hitch and the sway yeah. bar on it. So we, even though we were at the limit, we were probably safe to go over the limit. We, I don't think we did. No. Right. We, we were safe with what we had. So. Yeah. And on that note, some people, you know, they trick out their trucks for mm -hmm. lifting and, you know, they don't, they don't think about it before they do all that, before they tow it. When you mm -hmm. get a jacked up four by four and they put their trailer on it and then they do this. I was like, oh, I got a big truck with big tires. I'm good. No, it's America, but you can't do that. And so my buddy. Added... Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, you need that. What you're talking about, that, that, yeah. this, what's that called? That fancy hitchy thing? Weight distribution hitch. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yes, that we fancy are. word. Plus, on top of our, our SUV, we added a air, just an extra air. Yeah, air thing. suspension. Yeah. No, 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 not the air suspension. Oh. Blows air to your engine, so it cools it down. Oh. Fancy. We added Air an cooler? extra one just to be sure. Yeah. Yeah. Extra fan. Just to make sure that nothing overheated or we're like. Yeah. So, uh, real quick, um, while I was thinking of it, real quick, George. Sure. Yeah. Now I've got another friend. Okay. Who's doing it totally opposite instead of doing living on in the road. Uh, recently, he lost his wife and whatnot. His kids are all grown up and off to either military or college and whatnot. Okay. So good. he just messaged me the other day and he says, I quit my job at Home Depot Thanksgiving, sold my house, bought a boat, and I'm going to be living off the coast of Maine till it gets too cold <laughs> that I have to put socks on and then I'm heading <laughs> south. <laughs> I love how he thinks. <laughs> and I'm like, and I was joking around saying, 
well, you know, when you get to Florida, we'll just have to hop on and go out to the Bahamas or something. And he's like, funny you mentioned that. He was going to check with me in the wintertime to see if I wanted to go to the islands, the Dominican Republic. And, and I'm like, wow. it's a 36 wow. foot, um, basically it's a 36 foot condo on the water. Yeah. Hey, Tracy. Two yeah. bedrooms, two baths. So. Hello, beautiful people. Nice. That will be interesting to see. <laughs> yeah, when you get to that level, that's livable. Mm -hmm. so, my brother had a 27 foot one in Lake Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Right. Yeah. So, but yeah. Um, so I, I, you know, the um, thought is, okay, well, I'll just trade spending gas money going around from place to place in the truck to mm -hmm. um, helping pay for gas in the boat, I guess. Oh yeah. If need be catch a win, man, catch a win. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of double dipping when you have a boat. I mean, if you can rely on wind, isn't that free gas? <laughs> that's yeah. Good. yeah. It's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to just avoid those other twirly things that are out there in the water that then come on land. <laughs> Everybody hey, get my drift. Uh, has Doreen told us just... to Charlie Graves? She was here. Yes. What? No, no, no. I said Doreen says she's. Hosting a fiberglass rally <coughs> in East Tennessee in October. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Sweet. What will that consist of? I don't know. It sounds like fun. Yeah. We told them we had a transmission. A fiberglass <coughs> rally. So, That's yeah, that would be the casitas and the scamps, eh? So, Ron, is that an invite? <laughs> yeah, Ron, in one of his comments earlier said the casitas i guess he's six foot and he said he can stand up i thought they were shorter than that that's nice yeah because they are very well built yeah i love i love anything that was made of fiberglass we were debating yeah. when we bought ours yeah There's now, a company and go ahead no i'm sorry you were talking it's okay there's i was a, like there's a there's a company in bc called escape it's similar mm -hmm. to your bigfoot and then there was oliver's travel that we were mm -hmm. looking but we're like, it's so expensive. I was like, yeah. Oh. I thought the Bigfoots were Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really. The 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 camper Bigfoot. I think it's from Canada. Where, where is it made? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have. Well, is that supposed to be one of the what most well insulated? Yeah, four yeah. seasons there. Four true, season. true. So was Lance. Yeah. Oh, Oliver's and my. <laughs> yeah, I don't know all these. Okay. Ooh. So yeah, those Lance campers are very nice too, and I know you guys have that trailer that's called Lance trailer, Lance and they're trailer. very nice. We 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 have the baby we have the baby trailer. We have the yeah. Thing. yeah. We, have, we have like a transmission cooler on our vehicle too. We added that's an extra transmission cooler too. So I had researched all that out to make sure I had everything to make sure that the uh, tow vehicle was safe. That's what it is. Yeah, I hope my, this van is okay because um, it has the transmission cooler. It also right. now goes through the brand new radiator that I put in it, and it has another oil cooler. Yeah, and then it has the tow key brakey thing too. Yeah, yeah, we had we had to put the uh, the brake um, instead of the four pin. We went with the seven pin, so the trailer has brakes too. So mm -hmm. I've brakes got power. that that uh, connected in as well so. that connects to both our teardrop yeah. and the trailer yeah yeah i had a professional though put that in because i'm like yeah i'm not gonna mess oh, with yeah. that stuff <laughs> so yeah so stan have you installed one of those seven pin plugs i never have no but I'm, okay. I'm like steve i have a professional in fact I, I can do some mechanical stuff and i'm, oh, yeah. I'm handy I enough to be able to you know fight my way through fixing something but when it comes to electrical, yeah. I'm just a moron. <laughs> oh, come on. It's either on or off, baby. It's on, on or off, people. That's all it takes, baby. Ones and zeros, man. The weakest, and, uh, the weakest thing is me is for electrical. but Yeah. If I have a diagram in front of me. I could probably figure it out. But... Hi, Karen. Hi, Xanadu. Sent you a... Hi, Karen. I didn't get no extra text. Oh, did I turn my phone off because everybody was texting me? They didn't get the link. Yeah, you did. I, I didn't text you. I didn't get the link. I texted the answer of when I was coming. 
Oh, I didn't get that. I'm going, I'm not <laughs> on my beauty. Gmail right now. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, so we have uh, these two strangers hanging out together. <laughs> and then what else? So that was Wade and Linda. And then, all right, wait for it. Are you ready? I have to go large on this one. I have to go large. Go big. Go big or go home. Ah! But what's in his hand? Can what is he drinking? Is Kenny drinking? Was that a beer? No, Kahlua. that was Kahlua. Hey, oh. Kenny must be cap in the wrong chair. That's no, not no, like no, the cap is not on. the wrong fire. <laughs> We must be wow. having fun. <laughs> well, What's I think the, the words were, I never want to ever choose to drink. Yeah. Oh, look I at this. Oh. doesn't drink. I know. I that's why I'm bull I'm shocked. What the heck? Kenny, <laughs> hey, Marshall just came in. Kenny's Kenny's got a bottle of Kalu in his hand. What's going on down there? I think Kenny's at the wrong fire pit. Yeah. Oh, Kenny's at the wrong fire pit. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good for him. I hope he's happy. Oh, and Mike came in. Happy birthday, Stan. There you go. It's your birthday, Stan. Oh, yeah. You oh, know. my God. Isn't it always? Anytime uh -huh. Mike comes in, it's somebody's birthday. Lucky him. Lucky him. And hey, I just I'm want to tell Mike, to Gabo, don't can't... rush me, all right? They're going yeah. by fast enough. Oh, man. I know, old man. Is he trying to <laughs> overage us? No, overage us. So Ron says he might be kind back to go over the camper over the top of the pickup -a truck kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. You know, you get him a nice four by four older diesel. Yeah. You're golden. Man. I wanted a truck camper so bad. And Steve was like, uh, it's uh, amazing what they can put in them. Yeah. And six <laughs> foot in the bed. A camper. That's expensive. Well, that's what he said. He was like, no, not for oh, the price of both of them. No. Freaking in the back of the bed of a truck is fun too. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Everybody's saying hi. Love it. Marshall, tell us a story, buddy. What do you got going on? Okay, on the chat, stay. <laughs> want to pop up. Yes. Hi, Thank Marshall. You, Thank you much. Yeah, I haven't seen much going okay. down there. Yeah, anyhow, I've not been on a lot lately. But to get a picture of Kenny <laughs> with a <laughs> bottle of. <laughs> uh, I wish Lance was around. I was saving this. He was supposed to come up. You can't see this. Let me see. Can it... Nope. I disappear. <laughs> yep. The green screens are terrible these days, really. Okay. I got a surprise. Let me take this down. Okay. Hold a minute. Talk amongst yourself. No. Um, it won't be that. All right. How do I do this? Mic. Background. None. That's what we're looking at. <laughs> nope. It's beautiful. It's having it. a mint wall. Actually, it's a light blue bed sheet. It looks so blue. I know, right? It uh, looks great here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wait a minute. If that's blue, are you telling me that your beard is navy? <laughs> that looks gray. Is your beard well, navy and we don't know about it? Well, that's why. Oh, this was I didn't show you. So this is okay. organic. Ooh. Green tea. Organic and not organic? Yeah. Lance would be proud of you. I know. No, no, he wouldn't. Because he'd be like, is, that me? is, it, is it from China? Yeah. Lance only <laughs> drinks from China. That's true. San Francisco. San Fran. San Fran. Locally grown. Yeah, locally well, grown. Kenny's in the house now. Hey, Kenny's in the house. You have to ask him what that was he was drinking. <laughs> hey, I don't know. Okay. I got to put my, my screen back up. <laughs> I'm not going to this gray stuff. All hey, right, Kenny. No, Kenny, you got no the worse. link. Yeah, it's no worse than what I'm eating. I'm Golden eating organic popcorn. Ooh. There's no oh, such thing, dear. I want popcorn now. Oh, so, yes, there is. I got it at Sam's Club. I can't wait to go to Sam's Club when I'm in the U.S. <laughs> Never been to one of them. They have those peppermint patties there. Oh, they're so good. And I have two bathtubs. Ooh. Wow. Oh, okay. Imported. When, when Phil goes to the States or when he used to work with us, he'd always bring a big uh, a bottle or, or like container of these peppermint, uh, peppermint mint, these things. And it was so good. But now, okay. now we can't eat those in the, at work anymore. We can't eat anything oh, at work anymore. 
<laughs> Kenny. We all think we're at the wrong fire pit. You're at the wrong fire pit. We saw what you had. <laughs> I'm going to tell Papa. Hey, uh, George. Yeah. Real quick. I'm going to drop down for a little while. Um, okay. Feeling? And uh, I'll just still be hanging out and chat on and on. Okay, good. But, well, thanks uh, for sharing about your tiny space yeah. and yeah, no what your problem. plans are to be. And glad you're doing well. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, day by day. And hi in the background. Where's a little yeah. tree? Good to see you, Mike and Jess. Hello. Yep. There he is. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Take care, everyone. Take care. Have a good night. <laughs> All right, how far behind am I? Hey, Kenny. Kenny, 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 Kenny. All right. He's having some blast. Look at that. He's having a blast. I haven't <laughs> seen much from him. Oh. Not is, it, either. is it Greg? Right? Fit from Fit Expedition. Expedition. Yep. Expedition? Yep. Matt is changing a water heater tank. Ugh. Bless your soul, buddy. Yeah, that's not Does he fun. have a, a gas license? <laughs> I don't know. Is it electric? Yes. Yeah, it's... All right, what I miss? Water heater? Amphibious North, Matt. Oh, there it is. All right. Can't afford the gas through to get there. Yeah, that's my problem. It would cost it would I would spend eight hundred dollars just to go down there. What? Wow. Yeah, what? gas. Yeah. It's cheaper just to fly and rent something out. Hmm, pull a Kenny, eh? Yeah, but his hotel's uh, off the Richter. <laughs> yeah. But don't don't you guys have van rentals? A lot of very popular in the West Coast. Right oh now, God. trying to rent vehicles is pretty tough. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah, now. During the during the whole kind of pandemic thing, a lot of the rental companies because they weren't doing any business, they sold a lot of their cars off, what? and they sold them for very good profit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now they're kind of sitting with not a lot of inventory. No, I'm not saying like a car rental, but like, like, you what was the company? I'm trying, trying to think like outfitted vans. Uh, yeah, there's, there's some of those around. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've, that's more private or what? I don't know. Yeah. I've Especially seen here. online that some people, when they don't use their campers or vans, they rent them out. Sure. Yeah. RV easy. So Greg's sitting next to Kenny and Marshall. Automotive. Howdy, Greg. Thanks for coming in, y'all. There is down there courtside. Five feet or welder as well. Cool. Well, some of the stuff I saw that people put online, they look like they're having a lot of fun. Camping therapy. Matt Steve says we're putting you on on the speed dial list. <laughs> I'm not a bike fitter, so I couldn't do that. When ours when ours busted, no, I had no. to get a professional for the softener. I put that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm sure I would have spent a thousand too just to go down there for, I mean, I could stay there for a while being as I'm not working, but that's <clears> the <throat> whole idea of having that thousand dollars is I can't yeah. spend it because I'm not working. Well, from here to Arizona, that would cost me 400 bucks when I have my truck. Yeah. Well, and I would have a place to stay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, I would take the RV. Oh no, my uh, my real mother lives in Arizona. Oh okay. Yeah. And she's not far from Courtside. Yeah, we do. I'm swelled having a camper with me. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's key. Yeah. Yep. If that truck was up and running, I would put a cot in the back and sleep in it. <laughs> not up and running. That's why it's the one I told you on fixing the axle. Oh, that yeah. one. Yeah. I'm trying you know. to find someone that will fix it for me, but everybody wants a little too much that I can't afford. Yeah. So how much is the truck worth? I paid for it. I paid eighteen hundred for it, but fixing a few things uh close to two thousand four hundred. So where where are they hanging in Texas? I don't know. That's quite the ordeal here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's standing. Get the invite now. He's a little sad. <laughs> we'd have a, we'd have a big meetup here. I'd I'd have driven down and found him today. 
What's cool? They didn't like the birthday boy. <laughs> Can't catch up. Everybody's saying hi again. Look at all this. All right, cool. So, Stan, if you put a price tag on that ambulance, I heard you. You kind of want to sell it. You kind of. You're like me. Yeah, I'm, I'm toys. Like, I, I think I'm procrastinating. My wife keeps saying, you know, it, it wouldn't hurt to put it up for sale, and just I said, yeah, I know. Well, you can't stand put like seventy five thousand on it. You did your job. What'd you do? You put it up for sale. There you okay. go. No buyers, no takers. Man cave. Oh, it's overpriced. Yeah. Donate. I'll take it if you donate. I, I think if I hang on to it too long, I may have to move into it. So I better be careful. Those are those times. That's, that's yeah. why you have kids. You dropped off for kids. a year that I want to think about. See, yeah. I would take it if I could afford it. Yeah. Well, and that's the gray area too. I've been looking for another vehicle that one that will replace all those three that I have that will be nice enough, has strong enough and has decent gas mileage and they don't have them. I'm not going to look for one three States over. I'm not, I'm not into yeah. that. You know, people have ways that they can put their code in to search um, Craigslist and it'll go out to different areas Mm -hmm. or how they can fine tune it and not get all the dealerships with that post mm -hmm. 10 pictures of the same freaking car, excuse me, pet peeve, you know, um, and they find it. There are codes to do that. So you can type it in and, and, and one is just a filter that you can say in title, but people don't know how to label the vehicle they're selling. No, they'll put, put somebody will put on there, you know, Oh, I want to sell my 1980 for $130,000 and they have no pictures. You're going, or they'll put car for sale. It's like, duh, <laughs> it's in the for sale under the cars. <laughs> what? what is your car? Oh, some people don't want to put the effort and just want all the cash. Oh, yeah. When I bought my ambulance, I literally I was scouring. I had I had uh, different things set up so that my computer would tell me when there were four by four vans for sale or ambulances for sale, mm -hmm. and then I would just get on Craigslist and I'd go into different states mm -hmm. and just look. Yeah. And and I finally found mine up in Bozeman, Montana, flew up wow. there and bought it and drove it home. Wow. Okay. On a, scale after a year and a half or two of searching. Yeah. But the, you were, you were dedicated to get that. I mean, yeah. it's not like yeah. you, I'm just looking for a daily driver that can. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> so Kenny says, if you had the opportunity to go again, he definitely would because it's definitely a 10 here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, if he's holding on to a bottle, it's definitely a dead. <laughs> Kenny, explain that photograph. <laughs> Glad to bring a great time. He said earlier he's just you drinking saw? water and something else. I, and coffee. Know. Well, if they convinced him that's just coffee, it's liquor. Yeah. Kahlua, coffee. It's, yeah. Yeah. It sounds the same. Kahlua, there is a coffee called Kahlua. Yeah. It's a Hawaiian drink coffee, but. Well. When they when they get him to eat some avocado toast tomorrow, right? It's great for hangovers, right? Yeah, true. <laughs> that is true. With a little everything bagel. He probably doesn't He's like saying. avocados, though. That's no. probably why they're teasing him. Well, yeah, no, that's no. it, Stan. He doesn't. Well, They'll well, tell him it's mayo. So. They won't tell him it's avocado mayo. What, what if no. he's allergic to it? They got to be careful. He's not too. allergic to it. He's tried it before. No, he yeah. just doesn't like it. Oh, that, that's mayo, funny. avocado. Know. You know how mustard you on watermelon. Your, you know how you have your mascots. Here's mine. It's a little Labrador. <laughs> wow. Is that wood or porcelain or what? It's um, made out of coal. 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 I got it in West Virginia when I was a kid. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Keep reading and those I comments. And get down to. Yeah, I'm with um, Xanadu. That's why I said. Yeah, it. that's the one that I loved. Like, that's oh, what I that's said. Funny. It was like he's got this a one? bottle. That's why it's a dick. Yes. Clue cool, makes it. Yeah. There you go. All right. I definitely don't miss the snow back in Tennessee. Yeah. You missed a good snowstorm, I'm sure. Yeah, you hope, don't miss the snow. I hope you hey, is Papa good, right? Great timing for it, man. I wish yeah. Was flammable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he, a lot of he snow. dodged that bullet, didn't he, guys? Oh, thank you, Greg. Thumbs up, peeps. Mama, Mama, Kalua. <laughs> a bit of the 
blacksmiths as well. Yeah, that's <laughs> good skills to have. Yeah. What's this? Be sure to, yep, smash that thumbs up, he's saying. Yep. Yep. Neat. Blacksmith. Yeah. That's, that's a good skill to My dad didn't get to, to teach me how to weld. It was on his to do to learn, but I never got to learn before he passed away. So I was like, ah. I, I did a bit of welding in high school. Oh. Was a girl. We couldn't do that in high school. <laughs> so he had some sauce, eh? So it probably had some spices in it and stuff. That's yeah. good stuff. Spice oh, that's good. oh, yeah. Welcome to the green side. Is he? Uh, did you do a video? <laughs> you don't have to post nothing there. We'll, we'll catch up, but uh, yeah. Uh oh, it's snowing there now. Cares with me. It's snowing. Yeah, it was baby. Is it? We're supposed to get some here. That'd be good, huh? Oh, I love it. Hot sauce day. Yeah, Kenny. Yeah, hot sauce day. All snow. right. Yeah. I think we're guaranteed snow at eighty percent chance. What? Oh, that's good. I haven't had some for quite a long time. Hey, can't remember. It's getting to like 40, 45 here and bright sunny days. It's actually that's you know, in direct sunlight, it's warm enough to be outside with, with uh, hardly any coat on at all. I'll take your 40 degrees anytime, right? Hey, yeah, I know, cool. right? Well, yeah. we got minus 18, I think, here at one point. That would be <gasps> minus. Oh, wait, yeah, well, it's Fahrenheit, Steve. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. 22 is what? These Americans don't know what Celsius is. Oh, Only Australians. It's cold. It's cold. Let's I had to turn there. my heat down because it got too hot in here. Once it gets it's, to minus. It's zero Fahrenheit. There we go. Ron, hit the road. Do some welding out there, buddy. It's only it's 36 20. here in Texas going to 29 tonight. Wow. But then it's All going right. up to 64 tomorrow afternoon. So, you know. Where are you in Texas? I'm just south of Fort Worth. <laughs> And I'm in the El Paso. I almost said something else. Oh. Why does that do that? I almost called it El Piso. <laughs> yeah. This is why I don't like screen screen. Everything disappears. I know, right? It's 27 here now. 12 hours I wonder, away. I wonder what else can disappear on you when you go like this. You never know what can happen. So it's going to be down to 17. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Nippily. Oh, wait to chime in. It's Kalua Kenny. <laughs> Kalua Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. Kalua is one of my favorite too. I got a jug in there. I love it. <laughs> it's like chocolate. Uh, it's like cocoa, it's right? It's like chocolate milk for adults. Yeah, it's chocolate milk, dude. Have okay. you ever tried Panama Jacks? Oh. Who did what? Panama Jacks. Panama Jacks. Yeah. The girl who doesn't drink. Like when I was drinking, that was one of the last drinks I've had. I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, this is deadly. <laughs> well, back in the days, it was Long Island for me. Oh, I, I've done that too. Yeah. And if they're made right, they taste like what? I Gee. see. They just taste and they like sneak water. up on you really fast. They just taste yeah. like water. Oh, yeah. Like iced tea. Yeah. And sometimes those can knock you on your backside. Yeah, they will. Yeah. yeah. Five. I, six, I, I know. I did it when I turned. 21. I a friend dared me to drink it and I did and I said never again. So I've never touched it again. Okay. Huh? It wasn't hiding about cold. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's thing under 45 is cold. You gotta grab a coat, it's cold. We're we're freezing. We're not cold. We're I know. So freezing. cold yeah, versus yeah. freezing. Okay, there's a difference. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the other side to H E L L. Yeah. It's so it's cold. death versus <laughs> Cold as hello. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know if Deal I could say it. that word on yeah. your channel. Cold there. Colder than a well digger's patakas. My Michael oh, Anthony. Long Eyes Tea was her. Long Eyes Tea is my favorite was, in the 20s. Mine was <laughs> spiked lemonade. I would just drink it and I was like, whoa. Oh, yeah. It just hit you. Okay, we're going there. I had seven iced teas and drove home. What? The things you can get back when you could do I know. Now you can't. Well, I had a routine. So I'd get off of work and run over to the uh, establishment, <laughs> and they had two for ones till, till six, right? Right? So I would line up the table with anywhere between six to eight drinks. Get away. They're on my, they're my precious, right? <laughs> wow. I'd, I'd drink till about, yeah, they'd kind of get a little water down, but I'd drink till, um, I don't know, like six or seven. And then I would I would go up to the cash cashier and get my stamp 
Because at nine they started charging uh, to get in, right? What's that called? The uh, whatever. I haven't been in the bar forever. So I'd get my stamp, and then I'd come back about nine thirty, and just walk to the front of the line. I already been here, done that, right? <laughs> then I'd get one Long Island iced tea, and it'd last me for like two hours. <laughs> And then from one, now from 12 to one, I would drink water thinking that, oh yeah, that's just going to make me not drunk. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I spilled the beans. All right. T S S A pipe. Somebody's getting some fancy certifications out there. <laughs> yeah. On a scale of one to 10. Oh, he's giving his one internet a period. one. Not just a one. It's a one period. Yeah. One yeah, nothing extra. Got a bounce. Okay, didn't do the whole thing. What? I got a bounce. Got a bunch of papers. Okay, yeah. I can't read. I didn't use a lot. In other words, oh, so Ron must have gotten a lot of certifications. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, you know, yeah. yeah, a wall of diplomas that get you where. But did those papers provide you more moolah? That's the whole thing. <laughs> well, you got to use those papers. Yeah. Yeah. Did you use them and did it give you more money? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it but just... Ron Ron Darrell knows how to weld. I've seen when he was working on some of his aluminum boats and things. Oh, and that, yes. that that's a he is skilled. That was, that was my favorite videos from him. I yeah. Like, I watch those sometimes. I was like, darn, I wish I had the skill. How did I find my car? After seven <laughs> Long Islands. Oh, good call. <laughs> um, yeah. How did I even find to get home? And, and to, yeah, the stories we could tell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sand, beach parties. Oh, I had two pills. Her, long, her long iced tea were, were being served in, served in sand pills for beach party. Nice. So instead Good of one you. drink for each hand, it was one bucket for each hand. Wow. <laughs> Jana, do you need to invest like what I have? Electric jacket, electric mittens, electric boots. Still don't have uh, electric snow funny. pants though. Trust me, <clears throat> stays warm. Doing well. Oh, back in my RV. <laughs> Who? Uh, George, have you ever looked at tiny houses? Yeah, I helped design some for a few people. Sweet. Um, and there's a manufacturer that makes just the trailers to sell for people to start their own. Yeah. So, um, but the trick is, and you have to know the land that you can get to put it on because they started saying, no, you can't have that small a house. It has to be over 400 square feet, you know, <laughs> some states yes. and areas and whatnot. Wow. Yeah, so a tiny house is under that, so it's a shed, and they can't live in a shed. Yeah. So, Matt, now that you have hot water, go take a shower and warm up. Yes, please. <laughs> no sol, no solex. Hey, where is he? I just sent him a link. <laughs> and Lance took off and said goodbye. Did Lance say goodbye? All I don't right. know. Last few years, business specialist in stainless steel and aluminum and aluminum. Wow, that's skill right there. Yep, where to go, buddy? Yep, north. Yep. All right, cool. Yeah, they're waiting to get some stuff done. But Mike's going to have to take it slow again. Slow down there, yeah. buddy. Slow down. I'm yeah, I wish we could go down there and ransack the place and just get her done. Right, Stan? <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, if it's warmer than zero, I'll go anywhere. I'll do anything to go anywhere right now. It's so cool. It's only going to be 34 degrees tonight for me. 34? <laughs> oh, wow. That's so That's cold. That's what my phone says. Wow. I was, when I got out of the car, because I had an appointment today, I got out of the car. It was so cold. I couldn't breathe. When I went in the building, I had to take a buffer just to try to breathe. It was just so oh. cold. Really? Wow. Yeah, I hammered that one quick, didn't I? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> man I don't get it What? oh my gosh and with a name like that can you guys see that stuff <laughs> yeah are those even letters <laughs> what do you think 
What do you think they're from? I don't know. Sound like I, I can't read languages that I don't know. So yeah, Kara, what are those graphic line drawing things? Joy Bless Life is coming in and saying hey. hi to everybody. Okay, I'm glad I'm glad they came in because I have I've got some great joy names and how I spell the word enjoy, like go enjoy, go enjoy the day, right? I spell it with I N apostrophe joy. Be in the moment and enjoy that stuff. Hmm. So take that and run joyous life. I wanted to share that. Yeah. And like you guys know, I say hi all with three L's because why the not? Because I want to get all of you involved, right? Oh, it's just like know. I say OMG, but the G is not God. It's oh my goodness because or oh my greatness because it's just so good news. Yes. Or if you're like food, it's like oh my gravy. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, yeah. I'm oh, going to yeah. use that. Oh, yeah. Go, I love oh, making up oh, swear words. Dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Do we have grease? Feathers. Yeah. Just like put me on the spot. Yeah. Anyhow. Well, the, my favorite uh, thing is saying taco heck, but the other word. Yeah. Okay. I was at the scrapyard today. It said seeing the boats there. Mm, nice old things, right? Wish I could just save them all. Everybody has <laughs> boats. Yep. Do, Some do, of do, us do. are just collectors. <laughs> save. Yeah, joyful. Be in the be full of joy. Yes. Matt Steve says when you're at the scrapyard, what? if you see an F eighteen, let him know. What? Yeah. Wait, where? <laughs> He was like, I just want one. Hold, just hold the press. One. Read this one, dearie. Read this one. Danny was, Danny was working. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> well, I know he's got moves. I'm not say it. Say it ain't so. Say, say it ain't so. I, yeah. I ain't shocked on that one. I am. <laughs> you don't know Kenny. No. Obviously if, not. If his tongue could slap his brain, I'm sure he could do it. <laughs> Ooh, go, Kenny, go. Go, Kenny, go. Go, Kenny, go. <laughs> And Kenny always says you do not drink whatsoever except coffee and soda and water. Well, wow. they might have dipped a little clue in his coffee. Are you ready? He wouldn't know it. It's True. Time. That Bye stuff is tacos. Taco. All right. Here, I got him. I got to move you two down so you can have popcorn together. Wow. Popcorn She's eating popcorn. popcorn. I, might, I might have to go to the pantry if you keep doing this stuff. Hey, get it. Get it. Because all I got is moonshine and, I, go. and my sweet drink I drank already. There it you go. It almost looks like your beard. There, almost. I know. We're not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sand, See, I got you got some of your popcorn. I got some popcorn. <laughs> oh, man. Broke my neck. <laughs> I know. I got to be on this side. So, Stan, what do you got in that pantry there? You got some popcorn? You know, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a little bit of everything. Yeah. A little bit of everything. Who's yeah. allowed in that pantry, Stan? Not many mm. people. What's that? I didn't have my chocolate. Who's allowed in that pantry? Chocolate. Who's allowed in that? Well, there's been a couple of people that have taken a tour of it, but not many. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't take long to take a tour of my pantry. <laughs> Hey, um, no videos, please. Not by the fire. What what goes on at the fire stays at the yeah. fire. Mm -hmm. okay. You have That's to be fire there. Rules. Can't fire rules. Fire rules. No videos. We can talk about it. But seeing is believing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Got to have some coffee. We were talking earlier about some uh, welding skills, and now we get it right from the source. Move over, everybody. It's Ron Darrell. Hey, Ron. Hey, how you? Look at that. You clean up nice, buddy. <laughs> well, I didn't have a whole lot to work with you. Oh, okay. Well, you've been around a minute, though, so you've had a while to work on it. Oh. You did okay. You did okay. Still here, hey. dude. You, see, you hear all this about Kenny getting isn't busy down there shaking a leg. 
Uh, you know, I'm surprised the crew that's on this thing has probably, you know, changed a lot of folks. It's changed a lot of folks. <laughs> Can't keep it real, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. I just, mm. it, just as long as Kenny doesn't go to that fireplace in the magic circle. Yeah, the are. round area. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. I had to say, when... Uh, when was uh oh my god yep yeah we can say what we want Matt is French for mom yeah I assumed I'm what you mean Matt yeah we gotta get loves over this side of the world too huh no no huh yeah yeah yep she's in Ron's lives all the time Mm -hmm. She's uh she's a huge supporter and and she's going through what she's going through over there. Man. Did we ever get video that her house was leveled or just roofless or what? I think it was roofless, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know how bad it got, but it's what's amazing is the third world there's always got like a thousand telephone wires, you know, everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's like not bad here. Let's see. Everyone in the panel. Yes. Chat say hi. So, you've been welding since you were knee high? Yeah, my dad had a welding shop and I started when I was twelve and got my first certification when I was fourteen. No, my sixteen. And uh, went on from there. But my whole family's been welding. Sure. I mean, all the way to my great grandpa. <laughs> my great grandpa and my grandpa built their first welding machine out of an airplane generator. Before you could buy oh, wow. one. So, Love's asking me to fix it. No, 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 Love. It's Ron that has the skills. So, Love, was that the secret behind your deep voice? Do what? Was that the secret behind the deep voice? You no. Before you hit puberty? No. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What happened to me? I was when I was a kid, you know these shirt pins that have a ball on the end of them. Well, I had one in my mouth and I was swinging in a swing and I jumped out. And when I did, I sucked that pin down into my lung. Yeah. And I was like five years old. I was little. And uh they had a instrument that was about that big around the row of mirrors on the outside of it. And they ran that down my throat and took that pin out. Jeez. So I had a deep voice when I was seven years old. <laughs> they yeah. Me, he, yeah, he talked like this at seven. Yeah. He went through puberty like that. Huh? <laughs> I didn't need puberty. I just had a pin. What are you talking about? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, don't want, yeah. You don't want to be boys like that. Not that young, eh? Not, Did you sing in the choir? Like that no, more. <laughs> no, you know, I quit singing. I, yeah. I used to do a little bit. My dog got where they went and got in the closet and went to howling, so I quit. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Read this, guys. Read this one. Papa is worried. Well, taking Kenny to the wrong campfire. <laughs> Respect popping Kenny yeah, too I think much. Kenny will do okay. Okay, Kenny is a, has a good head on his shoulders. He does. Oh yeah, he ain't gonna do that. He's just in the moment, having fun. Wow. Just do the manually hopping. You know what? We should be doing that more often. Yes. Yeah. Kenny's a good kid. Not to say that we need to just throw caution to the wind. Oh, heavens no. But, Papa, they got him. They got him. All right. Only know the scuba dive. Okay. Yeah, scuba diving and welding underwater. That's that's super skills. Yeah. That's the next level. Under level. Like low low level, but high. <laughs> if you guys see Tobamori, oh, you'd so understand useless. why he does scuba diving. Yeah. is it almost looks like an ocean it's like that aqua blue water oh, but it's, it's beautiful but it's a lake it's like it's insane 
It's a lake, but you could be considered a sea. Yeah, because it's the colors and all. Where at? Tobamori. Oh. Not, not all of go to a dive in there. I believe, anyways. So, love's getting her roof fixed, eh? Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we hope so. So, love, is it just the roof you're missing, or did the walls break down, or what happened? Ooh. Ice diving. Ooh. Ooh. Me. No wonder he needed a hot water tank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. No, thank you. I'm cold blooded. I would be one with the ice cubes. Yes. Both women are cold blooded, B. <laughs> I don't know more. I don't know most of them, so I'll take your word. You know, I'm, that's I'm, you know more women than I do. I'm, I'm ready to duck after that. Oh. Yes. Oh, you see, Ron just stuck the spoon in and stirred, man. Yeah, I got I to gotta move her further away now. There we go. Oh, just the roof? Okay. So, 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 so Wade's, Wade's chiming in. He's going, hey. Guess what? What? Kenny wants to go to the, I don't know what he's <laughs> He hasn't said it yet. Kenny wants to go to the Magic Circle now. <laughs> I don't know what. Uh -oh. No, he does not. No, he does not. You can go. Just don't look, right? <laughs> it's dark oh. out there, folks. There ain't nothing to be said. Yeah. All right, here we go. Loves Thank Kenny. You. Thank you. Yes. Boy. All right. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please. We're joking. Like this. You know this isn't moonshine, right? It's it's applesauce, right? It's butter. We're good, Kenny. Shoot. I've done that. 11 hour lives with that gentleman. 11 hours, folks. <laughs> I don't think. And then he probably went on to do 11 more with somebody else right afterwards. Right. Well, <laughs> the worst I've had was I did a six-hour live, and as soon as I go over to the little red button, somebody came up. Um, we don't see him here in the chats tonight. He's a uh, he's out of this world kind of guy, right? Who is it? I know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, we then had a so... private six-hour live. What? Yeah. Yes. So we in the back green room. He 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 jawed on for another six hours. Yeah. He's shy. He's shy. <laughs> oh. So yeah, Wade, you're leading us on. Guess what? What happened, Wade? He lost his thought. Things <laughs> things going on in the campfire. <clears throat> Anyhow, all right, Stan. Do you really wish you were there, or you got things to do? <laughs> I would. I would love to be there. I think yeah. it could be a lot of fun. Oh yeah. yeah. The problem is, I still work for a living full time, and so it kind of limits my ability to do a lot of that. In fact, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm actually. I just got my date scheduled for my uh, week long canoe trip down the Brazos River, and that's going to be March 12th through the Ooh. 17th or 18th. Wow. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. You're taking holidays. Are you going? Yeah, I am. I'm going to take a week's vacation. In fact, I I wish I could take two in a row because I think Matt's going to go do a little bit of uh, kind of off roading up through New Mexico and some other areas. And dang, he invited me along, and I told him I said I'm not sure what you know what the dates are for my canoe trip yet. Well, it's the week right after the canoe trip, and I just Oh. I can do it. So no, then you'd have nothing left for the year, right? Well, I, I didn't take any vacation last year, so I still have two weeks hanging over. So oh wow. So that's a perfect Sweet. excuse to use it. Eh. Yeah, but I, I have one of those jobs where I can I mean I can travel and still work sometimes. So I, okay. I'll take a Friday and go up to Missouri to my daughter's house and come back yeah. Monday and I don't have to take a vacation day because I can still be on the phone. I can pull over and get my computer out if I need to yeah. and so I know right lots speaking of flexibility of, speaking of what computers whoops, I'm sorry. 
I got a brand new computer for school, right? And then it uh, then it mucked up and I went and got it traded in for another one and I never set it up and I just go to fire it up. First off, it was dead. Second off, I didn't I couldn't find the the power plug for it for like three days. And then I got it charged up and I go to fire it up. It's got a password on it. I don't know. Oh, wow. I got to wow. take a brand new computer in and have them wipe it again. What oh, part of the river are you going to go on? You going to go for Possum Kingdom down? Yeah. Yep. Exactly. We're going to go Possum Kingdom, probably go all the way down to, um, in fact, I'm not sure if we're going to stop at Lake Granbury or we're going to actually, sometimes we go, we actually will take our canoes around the dam there at Lake Granbury and go on down further to almost to Glen Rose. I've, I've made that, I build these wood strip kayaks. Yeah. And uh, I made that trip from there to Waco. Uh, that, oh, I'd like to do that someday. Whitney's got some pretty water between Whitney and Waco. Yeah. Ooh, right there. I'm getting them pretty. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. It is. Yeah, and the fishing, like in March, usually the fishing's pretty good. We end up catching a lot of little sand bass and the... Uh, and, and largemouth. There's so. a whale out there. Grab it. We, I used to do a lot of fishing out there. We got to fishing for them old big alligator gulls. Oh, uh, boy. Wow, bow fishing. I had a world record. That that, that's, a, that's a whole other sport right there. Those things are prehistoric. <laughs> then we just got the rod and reel fishing. And uh, man, that's a blast. You hook in one of them about 250, you got your hand full. Yeah, what's that got to be? Six or seven foot long? That one that was a world record was 270 pounds. He was eight and a half. Oh, my goodness. That's a, that's a big, scary looking fish right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my problem. I got too many hobbies. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Can't never have enough. Oh, yeah. I would huh? love to go do my hobby, go fishing. It's getting just about time to do it. You know? I, when I was growing up, my dad used to take us in New Mexico to Caballo Lake by the dam. And we used to go fishing there for like a week to two weeks in the summer. It was fun. We had one of those pop-up trailers. I hated those, but we had one. They got you on a terrain. That's all that counts, right? <laughs> True. But it you didn't got, rain much at the lake. <laughs> you got a pop-up huh? you, Do you have a pop-up trailer, tent trailer? No, no, I don't have them like that anymore. Not since I was a kid. And I my wife. If I could afford it, I would love to get it. It's the triangle pop-up. A-frame? Oh, yeah. A-liner. A-liner. Yeah, the A-liner. I would love to get one to pull it on the back of this uh, truck that I can, after I get it fixed. Because I would love to go camping and fishing again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Me I and my wife. Box. I had my own fishing pole. I still have them somewhere. <laughs> Me and my wife drove to Alaska and had a tent trailer, drove up there and drove back. And I put that damn tent, my friend, up 30 times in 30 days. I took it down 30 times. <laughs> and you couldn't run. Love to give me one thing now. I hate him. I'm camping. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, does anybody yeah. watch uh, Slim Potato Head? Yes. I don't even know what that yeah. is. He's homegrown. He's homegrown. Yeah. He's, yeah. Well, he had one of those like A frames and he had to have a long two by four. Mm -hmm. He had to have a long two by four on it to just push down to lift wow. it up. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. He's uh, probably 160 to 180 size man. Yeah, he's yeah. not he's not a big guy. But uh There's yeah, so the A-frame overlaps and he'd have this yeah. big 
like big board hanging way out here for leverage to push it up. There's a guy in Canada I watch has an A-frame. I, I started out watching him from Canada and he went to, to the play, a lot of places where it snowed like deep snow and he had a little fireplace in his uh, A-frame. That's him. That's him. <laughs> That's him. Yeah. You didn't watch That's him set it up then, huh? Yeah, yeah, I watched him set it up and everything. And it was like, okay, I think I can handle that. No, you can't. Ron just said that. <laughs> we were well, looking no, at what the camera. Yeah. Well, no, Ryan, it was a camera. No. You got to crack that thumb gun up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. No. Rain or shine. Yeah, Box neither one not. of those are good. Get a box. Just roll up. Open the door. Go in. That's when I, <laughs> I'll take the seat. Yeah. Well, if I, if I sell my, when I, I'll say when, when I sell my ambulance, I'm actually going to go back to tent camping in my Jeep some. I'm just yeah. going to, because I don't mind tent camping as long as I have a, like a six inch blow up mattress so that I, I'm comfortable. Uh -huh. I don't mind. But the older yeah. I get, the more comfortable I want to be. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, the, the, the body hurts too much. Mm -hmm. There's a mattress. It's a, sits up like a bed, a small bed, and it has a tent on it. I've seen yeah. those. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I saw that on uh, yeah. Facebook one time. Somebody had it. When they went camping, and they said it was a two-person one, and they said they loved it. It's all right, but it's clumsy. I was using it in a kayak, and uh, <laughs> frame on it, and everything was big, and it <laughs> confining. They, uh, I used it a few times, but I all in love with it. They, what I found out about tents, I want a tent that got two poles on it. I don't want 900 poles on it. Yeah. I want at least a 10 by 10, and I want to be able to stand up. That's that's it right there. Simple See, that's, that's what I have. I have a 10 by 10 that's got those two crossover poles on it, yep, and I can mean. stand up in it. So when I'm getting dressed, I'm not sitting there trying to you know, sit on the bottom of the tent and scoot mm -hmm. around and try to get my pants on. I was like, no way. Just yeah. getting too old for that. Man life. <laughs> that's I why I want a pop top on this man. Pop up tents, you just untwist it from the euro yeah. from Europe and it just poof. Yeah, I've seen those. I can tell you, you a story. Okay, somebody got it. <laughs> I did. Sorry about I, I have a mod in here. Hi, recycled <laughs> home fan. Yeah, hello, hello. I Welcome just had to make room for you. <laughs> <laughs> there was a comment right there. I had to get it out of the way. Booyah. Fine. Booyah, slam bam. All right, when you get older, you get the ground stepped. Yep, trailer. Yep. Oh, it seems dangerous. Now, Stan, I've seen this. There's a guy that's, uh, I can't remember his name right now, but he has an orange Jeep. It's called Orangey, and he does overland, but he's got a pop-up tent on, on top of that, and he yeah. can crawl into it. Yeah, yeah that yeah. guy? I've seen that. It, it, yeah. I, I've seen a lot of the guys with the pop-ups and stuff, and I just, for me, Part of it's my weight, you know. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm a 300 pound guy, and I just, okay. it's like climbing up that ladder. I'm like, yeah, that better be a. It, and I know they make them, but well, his is inside. He does. He, I don't think I've seen him use the ladder. It's oh, just on. Yeah, there. he goes up from inside. You're, yes, yeah, you're in the jeep, yes. and he just stands up, so he can leave the roof open and and sit in there and work on his computer, and then get up into the bed. Right. Yeah. yeah. The sunroof type thing. Yeah. Well, it's enclosed, but yeah, it's it's so it's part of the, it's a package part of the like the the jeep mm -hmm. would be the 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 roll bar, so it's yeah uh, that part that takes off, and then he just puts a like a hard shell, and it's all in one. Yeah, yeah. they're they're not cheap because some of those they started like fifteen hundred dollars just a tent. Yeah, know? wow, and go up fast. Yeah, yeah, the cheap ones are still like seven to nine hundred dollars for a single <laughs> single one. I was gonna put one on the Subaru. I like that. I like to comment when you get older, just going down the steps of the trailer seems dangerous. <laughs> well, some of those things are rickety, man. You got to put a block under those. That they're... Mine doesn't have yeah, one. I yeah. I always yeah. said, whoever invents the gradual ramp, 
You're going to make much money. Why am I echoing? Yeah, that's what I keep hearing. Okay, let me come back. I, I do a little, a lot of camping on that motorcycle of mine. Oh, yeah. So, with that side door, I carry all the gear I want. But there's one thing I bought that you probably enjoy on that tent camp, and I bought a, an extra wide like military cot. Yeah. And, and it's got a two and a half inch pad on it. That's the best money I ever spent. Oh, yeah. Because you yeah. Just, well, first thing, you got a chair in a tent. You're not yeah. having to get up off the ground. Oh, yeah. Heavens. Yeah. And, oh, I love that thing. And it fits in that motorcycle side car. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I, I've actually thought about doing something with a cot, just like you said, because it keeps you up oh, off yeah, the buddy. ground a little bit, gives you something to sit on and all that. Because, I mean, just a fact, I don't, you know, uh, I, every, I, I never thought, you know, it's like you always think you're going to be young forever, I guess. And so you think none of that stuff's going to bother you. And then all of a sudden, you, the older you get, you start thinking about different things that are either a little more comfortable or just make it a little easier. Uh -huh. Still try to enjoy it because... As I keep telling my wife, she says, when are you going to stop all this stuff? When I can't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. True. And she wants you to stop now. And that's just silly, man. <laughs> no, she's, she's actually, in fact, I'm, my wife's been great because she's not a real outdoorsy person. She'll do things, but she doesn't have any problem with me taking off the, like on that week long, you know, paddling down the river or whatever, or just going out for a weekend by myself or meeting Matt. And, but she's like, go. But you had to take her to the Branson or 17 Flags or whatever, right? <laughs> Before <laughs> or after? Nah. Stand Actually, I mean, huh? that, yeah. that's why I went yeah. back to a motorhome, though. You know, it's okay. like, hey, we've been married 46 years, and she when she tried the ambulance a couple of times, and she was just like, yeah, this just doesn't do it for me. No. So, no, I could see that. We'll, we'll go back to a Class A and... Oh yeah, because that's it's women's got to glamp, bro. Got to glamp. Yeah, yeah. But, and I don't but blame if, that, if that thing got like twenty five miles a gallon, yeah, there's no way I'd sell that thing, you know. Yeah. But being it's a tank and it's like, eh, you know. Yep. Yeah, it's a single man. I want to get to the top of the hill and uh, have a tank. Yeah. You know, like you say, the older you get, the harder it is to get up. That's it. <laughs> That's a fact. These young people telling us this crap. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't that? Why didn't they tell us? Yeah. They did. Yeah. You didn't listen. We're looking yeah. at upgrading our tear yeah. and getting a bat wing. I know, right? Open the door. And there's a bat wing already there. Mm -hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. and I've told some know this, but I come from a family that my mom, she was by herself for a lot of years, and so she traveled in a Dodge van that was a pretty nice little camper van. It was already decked out when she bought it that way. But up until she was, in fact, even the last couple of years when she was like 83, 84 years old, she'd go from California. She lived in Mountain Riverside, California. She would go to Florida and up to Maine and across the top of the, and back home. And she would sleep in her Toyota some just at night. Some, she just lay the seat back. And just go to sleep, you know, and just like pull in somewhere. And kind of lady. That's, <laughs> that's, every, a, that's crazy. Well, that's every so she could get a hotel so she could get a good shower and stuff. And then a couple more days in the car, you know. That's my kind of lady. And that's yeah. what I want to do. When I reach 100, then I'll quit. <laughs> Why do you sound like my aunt? Like I was like, honest. Yeah, well, my mom's 93, and she's always said she wanted to li live to be 100. And now she says, I'm afraid I'm going to. So. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Well, it's because she's living life the way she wants. <laughs> Amen yeah, that. Not anymore. Now, she's got Alzheimer's, and so she's in a memory oh. care home. But oh, okay. Now because that she she still has a good sense of humor about things, and because every once in a while she'll ask, she goes, "So how old am I?" You know, well, you're 93, mom. Oh, I used to say I wanted to live to be a hundred, but now I'm See, kind of afraid yeah. to do. <laughs> Dang it! I tell you what, I put my sister in nursing home. Go tomorrow. That's the reason I didn't go to court. Today. And uh, she's in the last stage. That's tough. Yeah. 
It is. My mom's yeah. in a nursing home. She's got Alzheimer's or yeah. dementia or something. Wow. And I mean, for, for us, it has been kind of a, you know, it's one of those mixed blessings because she has Alzheimer's, so you just got to deal with it. But she, fortunately, she remembers me. She remembers my wife. She doesn't remember. She remembers people that she's known for, you know, 50 years, yeah. 60 years. Okay. But helps. like, she doesn't remember my kids. My kids go to see her and she's like, Who, who's this? You know, so that's oh, great grandchildren, yeah. you know, grandchildren and great grandchildren. But nice. she'll she'll kind of it'll come back to her sometimes where she'll all of a sudden, oh, OK, wait a minute. Your daughter is this person. Yeah. But the good side of it is, you know, during all this pandemic, we couldn't go see her for a year. What? Oh, yeah. For nice. one year, we could not see her. Because Dang. they would not allow anybody to go into those places. Yeah. yeah. It's but happening all over. It was mom, happening all over. Because she had no memory, she didn't, you know, when the, the first time we showed up, she didn't She didn't know whether we'd been there the day before or it had been a year. Oh, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's what I'm saying. Funny. It's, 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 it's kind of, it's sad, but it's yeah. also, in a way, it was but like, she didn't miss a, out. a mixed blessing. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. my mom thinks I come every day. She thinks one of the nurses is me. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She Old told timer. my grandma. Old she timer. told my grandma, she goes, that I've been coming to see her. And I said, how am I splitting myself in half or what? How am I here and in Oklahoma? Yeah. And my grandma explained it to me. She said, well, one of the nurses she thought was you. Wow. Well, she, she has Alzheimer and yeah, yeah. My, I mean, that's what I really appreciate that she was a traveler up till up till about eighty five, and then that she finally got to where she just couldn't do it. So, well, my neighbor, I talk about him a lot. He's ninety two, and he's, I mean, mm -hmm. he's up and at and gone by you know eight thirty in the morning. I, I open the blinds, I'm going, he's gone. What the heck, you know? <laughs> and and when I go over there, I get up and I'd mosey on over there about 11 o'clock and he's got his coat on. He's ready to out the door. He says, why do you always come when I'm ready to go? You know, <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. I wake up at 822 without alarm clock all the time now. Right. It's like, and I've uh, been waking up at four without an alarm clock. Yeah. I don't sign up for that. Um, so. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sometimes this, before you stay up all night. Up. G. Huh? You're up all night. I know, right? Yeah, I have a little more excuse. I mean, th this is late for me. Yeah, it is late. Is like ten thirty is usually I'm 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 done, but it's yeah. what eleven thirty here right now. There you go. It is late. Hang it's twelve thirty. I'm, I'm at ten thirty. I'm at ten thirty right now. Oh look, Tim! Look what the cat drug in. <laughs> hey, Tim. It's it's nine thirty on the west coast. He's uh yeah. he's been working at home all day. Well, Tim, come take my spot because it's time for my baby bag. Take a spot. Drop it like it's hot. Oh. Okay, my father had old timers. Yep. Yeah. Dang, seven years. Yeah. Well, my father, my my brother, kind of went down that. He had a rare, rare. Uh, one they hadn't had that case since 1968. Wow! Wow! And, and he lived in Spokane, Washington, and one of the best medical facilities was in Portland, Oregon, where his daughter lived. And my sister-in-law um, wouldn't take him to Oregon, and yet they said, "Oh no, our doctor says this and that, and blah blah blah." Okay, Spokane. I don't know how many people know here at Spokane that it's mm -hmm. kind of a small town of like maybe 300,000. I don't know. But, but Portland, Oregon is like 1.5 million. Yeah. Okay. They have OHSU huge hospital world, world renowned doctor. It's like the, mm -hmm. it's a cancer yeah. center. I had a, a fellow teacher that was phase four, whatever level four cancer survivor for eight years because he went there and he let them sort of kind of say experiment, but he was yeah. also doing, you know, his own research and said, Hey, what about this? And they said, okay, let's try that. But he lived on stage four cancer for eight years. And yet my brother died in about a year and a half. Oh, I'm, I'm curious about it because he, he, he had skin, a skin pigment thing that he had to grow a beard and I grew a beard one summer and I didn't know that and I went up there and we, we had the same glasses the same beard it's like oh you know it's like that ooh and all thing it's like yeah your brothers but uh, 
But the fact that I go up there, I saw him one year and about a year and a half later, I'm going up there and he's curled up in the fetal stage mm. a year and a half in a, in a private care center. Right. And I'm going, yeah. uh, shouldn't you kind of warn me about this before I go up there? Right. And, but the coolest thing was, is that he hadn't spoke for like three months. He would recognize his wife. Right. But like you guys are saying that he didn't recognize people. Mm-hmm. I hadn't seen him a year and a half and he yelled out my name when he walked in the room and everybody yeah, like that's neat. freaking lost it because he hadn't said anything for two months. But uh, let, let me go deeper one more second. And this is hurtful. Hmm. That when you have to look in somebody's eyes and tell them they have to let go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. He was gone. He was all but a vegetable. And I, Very you know, I've looked, I've looked death in the eyes three times now. And yeah. my brother, my father, and my aunt, and when they're so far that that there's nothing there, like you guys yeah. are talking old timers, they don't know anything. Right. But when they're curled up in a fetal stage, it's like, you know, we come into that way and he left that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. So whew, didn't know that was coming. Yeah. All right, let's back to Tim. <laughs> hey, <dude. laughs> I think we got off the subject that you were on. Hey, we always do. That's half the bad. I, I mean, that's half the fun. I know. <laughs> And that goes back to your subject. How much space do you need? Yeah. You just need this little bit. Oh, the lines I was coming up with that was not politically correct. Okay. Size <laughs> matters. Right? Does it? Yeah. And then, you know, how big a packages can you get delivered, you know, <laughs> to your small space? Yeah, there's we're lots of them here. Were you around Kenny's? Guy campfire too. No, wrong campfire. <laughs> wrong campfire here. Anyhow. Good night, beautiful people. Hasta luego. Okay, good night. In my, in my world, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good night, Steve. Good oh, morning. Steve's already asleep, huh? No, Steve. He is. All right. All right, buddy. I'm actually See still asleep. Surprisingly, we slept yeah. only five hours. Yeah. We yeah. At ten. <clears throat> and I guess Tim had to put his beauty on. I don't know where he's at. Come on. All right, dear. Bye, beautiful Take care, Bye. guys. Okay, be safe. See you next All right. Time. Bye, Steve. Thank you for hanging out for so yeah. long. Wow. That's like midnight 30 over there, right? One of the things I'm finding, G, and sure. I don't know, you know how the rest of you are, but like you were talking about having several vehicles. I mean, it's ridiculous. Mm. It's my wife and I, and I've got a uh, GMC, I don't know what it is, Tahoe, <laughs> whatever you call it. I have a Jeep. I have a Ford truck. I've got an ambulance. I've got a motorhome. Yeah. It's like I got to start getting rid of them. Hey, Tim. Hey, well, Tim will buy one. Yeah, it just seems like I collect more stuff, and it's like I got to get over that. But here's the thing: it's money in the bank because those those are probably kept the value or gone up because of yeah, everything true. going on, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you still got to upkeep. Yeah, right. Yeah, I can't sell mine without fixing it. I mean, yeah. I could, but you lose. I don't know. Can you put two grand in to get two grand out? Is that worth it? Mm. Yeah, that's because it. Because you're helping them that. out, but it's like, eh. Because I don't know what it'd take to fix my truck. And if it's yeah. only a couple hundred bucks, I'm going to be pissed this whole dang time, ain't I? Yeah. <laughs> Sammy. Oh, I'm sorry. That's him. That's right. Yeah, I can't say that word. But he's not on here, so I can <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? There you go. See, Ron did it. There he is. All right, what's up? Where you been? What's going down? Man, I thought uh, building the three monitor stand for my work desk plus two brand new monitors uh, sure. would have went a lot quicker. No, it took yeah. me it took me almost three hours. <laughs> wow, three hours wow. here. That's only yeah. an hour <laughs> monitor to put in four screws. I was going to say, but no, you do it right. You have, to, you have to adjust the height, and you got to put the arms on, and there's all sorts of twist this bolt, twist this bolt, turn the heights up and down your your swivels and get everything set right. And I had to adjust the height not once but twice with three monitors mm-hmm. on that long arm. Yeah. <laughs> So I had my arm underneath it pulling up three monitors and I had to take out two screws or big screws and then pull it up and then put one screw in and then I can get the other one in. And I'm like, it still wasn't high enough. So I had to do it a second time. And I'm like, oh, damn. 
So you were screwed. So Tim, we're talking spaces. <clears throat> is your RV big enough or do you wish it was smaller or is it just right? It's just right. Okay. Because you took a trip in it and you experimented what? Three months in it? Yeah, close to it. Yep. And yep. he recently invited some bears into it. So yeah. You know. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I I I took I took the picnic basket and I put it in my RV. So no food for no food for boo boo or yogi. Yeah. <laughs> that was How many bears were there? There was Duke was barking. Good. I was outside cleaning up and I and Duke was barking and I I didn't see the bear. The bear was already <laughs> in the camp. And I don't know how close he was to me, but I'm like, okay, Duke, I don't know why you're barking. I'll put you on the leash. I open the door. He runs down and freaking pulls. And I look up and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> I freaking pulled Duke back. He's like, oh, nope, I'm going after him. I pick his ass up, throw him in the freaking RV, slam the door. And I just started yelling, bear, bear. And the bear ran off into a... Uh, the next campsite next year. yeah the next campsite thanks very much <laughs> no one yeah, was hey, there Tim, though okay i thought you sped up your camera you loaded it up so fast <laughs> <laughs> no i had to pull out my cell phone <laughs> i didn't even have the camera the camera was in the rv <laughs> man so that was man. all that was all taken with uh the cell phone except for the very end when he was when he climbed the tree climbed the my tree yeah head. Yeah, and I was like, I got my camera now, and I was able to get good video of that. Oh, is that why the that first was one was vertical? <laughs> and then there was a coyote. There was a coyote in the the camp also the Man. first day we were there. Them critters. Don't but they know it's campground now? He was so skittish, and he ran off so quick. Mm -hmm. I pulled out my cell phone. I started taking video and. Um, I was able to zoom in on uh, the video and, and grab a screen capture of it, him hiding in the in the tree line, and then he just took off. Mm. But I didn't put the video up there because it happened so quick. No one yeah. would be able to know <laughs> what I was videotaping. Yeah. What unless I unless I sit there and circle the full video. <laughs> I know, right? Critters. Yeah. Well, you could have just labeled it, can you spot it? <laughs> <laughs> can you well, spot this? <laughs> a bird? It, a plane? The video was so quick because that man? coyote moved so fast. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Wasn't worth putting up. And we got a troll. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. Do I got mods out there? Can I can't see? I've been doing there it all night. I'm in here. Yeah, Tim. Well, Tim is now, yeah. Uh, I'm going to report pornography and sexually explicit material. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. Reported. Wow. Yeah, that's the third one. <clears throat> that's the third or fourth one tonight. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Gene, huh? I got a question for you. I started running them live, you know, here a couple weeks ago. Sure. What what nights are you on? So just I don't talk with you. Yeah, just this Saturday. Just on Saturday, okay. Yeah, and I I, and why I've gone early is um like like I don't know. Did you even see Charlie Grace was up here? Yeah. And and Tim was in or uh uh Lance was in the chat. He didn't come up. And uh, well then V, they're all they're way far east coast. You know, mm -hmm. and so that's why I'm at seven, seven thirty now. Now there's somebody comes on at seven and I'm not stepping on their foot. So I'm at seven thirty, but I, I can go any freaking time I want because I've been here a whole year. But, um, you know, and I appreciate what you just asked because that's huge because um, um, this is my slot and you're kind of in our group. So I appreciate that. But um, otherwise, kind of any time. And I usually go anywhere between what, three three to four hours. So it's hard to know when you can plan one on after me on a Saturday, yeah. but yeah, but I'm gonna uh, say three or four or five or six. Or that, you know. Yeah. 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 It just depends. Seven, eight, nine. You know, so 10. if you're up at 4am, go for it. 
Well, I'm 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 on one live, I'm, I do what Kenny I'm, does. I multitask. I'm going to all be here too. Yeah. How many I'm, beers are on the wall? Uh, you can go at any time you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I usually start it's around 11, 11, 15, and Central yeah. Time. Yeah. Oh. Pretty Central late. is three hours. No, two hours difference. So, see, I can't do math backwards. <laughs> I told, I told that Grace nine, that. That would be nine o'clock Pacific time. Okay. So, see, I have to go. I have to guess the number on this side and then – and then add, <laughs> I can't subtract. Well, if I know you're here on Saturday night, I just won't do it on Saturday night. I mean, there ain't well, no use. Yeah, but like, you know, if I'm like tonight, I don't know. Uh, if I go three, four hours, but um, yeah, you know, go after that. Because that's what I used to do too, is like Kenny would sometimes stay up and, you know, if I only get a three hours, <laughs> wait to chime in, is that then Kenny would do one. He, he, he you know, I did find it a little rude to say, how long are you going so I can know when to start my live? You know, <laughs> it's like, we're on a live. Why do you need to start a live? Uh, you know, right? Yeah. Are you through yet? <laughs> are you through yet? I'm mean, through yet. Yeah. Yeah. Wade, what's going on down there? <laughs> You're at the wrong campsite with Kenny. Uh-oh. There's Duke. Uh-oh, Dukester. He's just sitting on your couch. He just he just climbed up here because I was. Pretty dog. But now what do you want? Come here. Oh, you you want you want to hog the show? Okay, you hog the show. There you go. Oh, there you, go. <laughs> you can hog the show, Duke. Take over for G. Take it on. Take it on, dog. Take over for G. Come on. I saw another dog a minute ago next to me. There. His dog. There it is. The little black one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's a yeah. much bigger dog. That, that's, that's Samson. Hey, Samson. Yeah. It's so Samson. cute. Duke. Duke, you see Samson? Hey, that's Samson. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. That's Samson. Okay, Samson. Where's the Lila? <laughs> I know, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, move over. Uh oh. <laughs> there you go. Feisty <laughs> dog. Feisty <laughs> dog. No, no, no. Okay, everybody and their dogs. Here's mine. Here's mine. Cold, cold. Where's my lab? Duke brought me a toy. Uh oh. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Oh, Hilda has a doggy. Yeah, it's made out of coal. <laughs> Made out of coal? Yeah, from West Virginia. Of course. Well, don't, don't put water on it. It might disappear. No, no it has a gloss on it. It has a finishing on it. Oh, okay. Because I've spilled stuff on it before. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to call it a night, time. folks. So, good to see everybody. Enjoyed the conversations. and uh, As always, thank you. Yeah. All right. We'll see y'all again. All right. Take care. Sleep tight. Have a good night, Dan. That a man. Have a good yeah, time. Yeah, what was Matt? Go ahead, Ron. What was that, Ron? I thought I was just going to tell him to have a good time on that trip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's going to take a, a boating trip. Was it a whitewater? Is he rubber rafting it or metal boat? No, it, he's on canoes. On it. it, it's got some swift water in it, but unless the river grew high, it's not dangerous or anything. It's just enough yeah. time with. Oh, you know the river? Oh yeah, I made the trip. Oh wow! And it's pretty. I mean, it's rock bluff. Oh, look at and the name on that troll there. Do what? Yeah. Well, the last names on these trolls we've been getting have been Czechoslovakian, Russians, whatever. What I mean, no offense to any of those, but it's like languages you couldn't figure out the letters. But this one's like <laughs> Tom Jones, yeah. you know, John Smith. <laughs> hey, they're logging. They're logging in, so you get credit for it. Oh, amen. <laughs> now, 
I need. I was trying to find that uh, spot where they have to be uh, uh, subbed to me before they can come into the chat. I think that's the new way to go, yeah, guys. 20, 20 minutes or whatever into the uh, a member or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah sort of. Then, the but then that that um, causes an issue. New members can't come into your live and check you out. Well, like you said, it takes 20 minutes to verify it. If you're a real person or not. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I did invite two special guests tonight that didn't show up unless they were just in the chat or they're just lurking and wanted to check it out. I haven't spoke to them before, but they were two small channels that were under 25 and they were um, trailer builds. They were small cabin trailers. I don't know if it, how many people have seen uh, Dan's A to Z Dan, uh, he built, he got like a, a 12 by five cargo trailer. And then he built a box inside that. That's a camper. And that's yeah, what these two gentlemen did. So he I had done that. Fun. He had done that. And uh, I, I watched their videos and I said, Hey, if you guys want to come over, <clears throat> I'll shout you out or, you know, we'll try to get them up. You know, they had only 20, one had like 21 the other had like 27 or something. Hmm. Wow. peeps and they were just like us doing little videos and living in a camper they were in quartzite or area down there so it was fun if i didn't have a camper yeah that's the way i'd go i'd buy an eight and a half by 20 or 24 and build a camper on the inside of it yeah do it for about half price and you know where everything's at and you built up right you know but why would you get a trailer that big versus just buying a cargo trailer that already has a like Mike's got? Well, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Buying a cargo trailer. Okay, have okay. okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. But mine, I rebuilt a, a seven by fourteen one time. Yeah, and just a little bit, the seven foot wide costs you a lot. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I, Eight and a half by twenty four, man. You can you talk about how much room you need? Oh, mother load. You lay that thing out right, and you got a ton of room in it. That's a freaking mansion, dude. So that's what I'm saying. That's what the you know, like this little thing is probably only twenty foot. You know, this is eight by twenty. This this picture here. Yeah. I was thinking of that, uh, one of those tiny homes like that before. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't build the A-frame roof though. I think that's a waste no, of space. I no, I would build uh, probably yeah. ten foot walls by eight foot walls and have that two foot slope. Yeah, somebody asked me if I ever did a build. <laughs> would I put a shower and bathroom? I said, I'll take the shower, but the bathroom part, a bucket and a shovel and stuff works just fine. Yeah, that's called compost and toilets. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. fine. Because yep. I see all these people with these fancy toilets in their showers or in their rigs, and I'm like, why can't you do it the easy way? It's a lot cheaper. Yeah. yeah. And... Nobody needs to buy a $1,200 plastic toilet called yeah. Your Head. Yeah. I grew up camping. Yeah. Yeah, I grew up camping. Uh, dig a hole is fine. Well, you can't do that in the desert, dear. That's true, but yes. Yeah, so, no, no yeah, but these like, guys uh, buying it. Go through cement. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but these guys with their twelve hundred dollar nature heads. Oh my gosh! Even Camper Van Kevin bought one the other day. Haven't seen any wow. any installs about it, but yeah, he's he's good. It's great for a tiny home that he has up there in New Mexico, but on a RV. I don't know. Well, he's got the I, tank. I tell you what, and you need to put a pencil for that. I built some campers. And time you get a black water tank, you yeah. buy a black water tank, and you buy a gray water tank, and you buy a commode, mm -hmm. and you buy all the valves to hook that thing up where you drain them. That nature says it's not that high. Right. It but for what he already has, he has a class A that has all that in there. You know, he's just trying to extend his uh um time that he can go boondocking but we never see him out there forever boondocking um because you always got to come in for food and more water 
you know. So the toilet's the least I, I would worry about. But um, but the fact that uh, I, I'm just talking about the money at that spent because I I built one or like she's saying, you know, you just need a bucket and a shovel or you just need some plastic bags, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, anyway. yeah, I have one of those because the toilet we have in this tiny apartment it's too low for me. So I have to, I bought me one of those handle seat up things. Okay. That's what I would use. One with yeah. the arm. Oh yeah. Toilet seat. Sure. And I think that's what I'm Kenny would have to person. have out there. See, because yeah. I'm a tall person. These little tiny toys they put in these new hat in these apartments are mobile homes and uh, campers, they're too short. And I'm, yeah. I'm looking at these people like, how can you sit on those when they're too short? Well, actually, they're they're selling this thing. What's what's the steps they put under there, Tim? The um, uh, you know me. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Way, step. Uh, yeah, the poopy steps. Yeah, yeah I, I saw that on one of these. Uh, okay, so things. so so, darling, that's that's more more natural way to go. So you shouldn't be complaining about these toilets when you don't have to buy that little steppy thing. <laughs> but the thing okay. is, I can't. Zen, have baby, my Zen. Legs, I can't have my legs up a little higher because hey, of the, that's all natural now. It's way to go. <laughs> way to go. Well, it's because of the titanium in my hips. I can't do oh, that. Okay. Okay. I have to sit even. Well, then you they, they do make this. This is weird. Do make this little extension. It's like what yeah. four or five inches. It's a, like a freaking donut. <laughs> yes, I see those. Yeah. Okay, we've changed the subject, haven't we? Tim, what you got? Uh, I got I got crap in a bucket. That's what I got. <laughs> so, Tim, have you ever thought about a tiny house? Um, I am in a tiny house. It's only Whatever. 1246 square foot or 1256 square foot. <laughs> Whatever. We're talking 200 wood. Hmm. My um, apartment is tiny. Was, my bedroom. Was, Go ahead. Silence. Hey, freeze. <laughs> freeze. <laughs> Uh, I lived in an apartment that was 600, almost 650 square foot. So, and then I bought this house, um, saved so much more money uh, buying this house. But if, if I went, if I was able to retire early, I would have a plot of land with probably a house uh, this size, uh, maybe, maybe just a, a, a trailer home. Mm-hmm. Uh, this size to where it's paid for and then it, and it's small enough I don't have to worry about cleaning or this and that I have a plot of land uh, big enough you know even if it's uh, five acres and then I can take my class C out and adventure that's the way to go That's sort of what I'm trying to do. I, I yeah. bought a 32 foot trailer, two bedroom, and uh, but then this cab over is going to be what I run in. I put a motorcycle on the back of it, it gas mileage. I don't have to buy a vehicle like this, but I don't pick up. So that's going to be my traveling, like this trip to us. If I'd have made it to Fort I took my cab over camper. Hey, I got somebody at the door. I'll be right back. You know, <laughs> after all the travel traders I've been through, I, for me, that I think that's going to be the best setup. Yeah, yeah, and everybody's different. If I had my way, I would get me a one-bedroom cabin and be out in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Have a nice fireplace where I can cook on it the old-fashioned way. And live simple, and get some soldiers, and do it that way. It's got the building, uh, six propane tank. It's got the building wood right here, hooked up on top of it. Wood, wood. 
that it worked out pretty nice. So, Ron, you're in, uh, is it a 32 foot class C or a class A? No, this is a bumper full. It's what? Travel. It's a travel trailer. Oh, a travel trailer. Okay. I had a, a pretty good sized motorhome years ago, and I, I wasn't impressed with it. I didn't like it. Uh, yeah, I, I like a tow vehicle where I can drop it, go do what I want to do, and then come back and get it. Okay, yeah. And restoration and insurance and all that mess, you don't have to worry about it on a, a you know, license place, and that's it. Yeah, that is true. I've been looking around in this country, you know, and a guy put me sort of up to this. But he told me, he said, what you need to do is you need to find, I think I've told him is you need to find a house that burns partially down that you can buy and it'll have all your hookups stuff there. And uh, just go in and and put one of these uh, carport covers on for an RV. Yeah. And then park your travel trailer in it. And, uh, maybe a little storage shed and that's all I need. Living the trailer, trailer. Even uh, even if you buy a, a single wide and you put that up on blocks, um, that doesn't cost that much either. Hmm. And you can you can put in um, you can put in uh, a septic uh, and have a propane tank hooked up to uh, the single wide, and you're good to go. And if you ever need to dump tanks or whatever, you can dump them into your septic. Um, and if you need thirty amp hookup, um, even on a even on a travel trailer, just install one of those and you're good to go. And maybe even have solar uh, up on top of the single wide. The the way it is now on a travel trailer, you can set up self contain one of them to where you've got everything. And catch you some water off the top. You'd be self Oh, he's back. <laughs> Look at it. We got new peeps in here. Howdy, howdy. Oh, the neighbor wanted to use a voltmeter and didn't know how to use it. <laughs> the septic in Texas is not expensive. Oh. Yet. Twelve thousand bucks to put a septic system in. You got to have that aerobic system, and uh, it yeah. costs twelve thousand to put a septic system in here in Texas. Double wide on two acres. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all go. Uh, it's uh, after eleven for me, and I'm getting tired. Oh, okay, good. Okay, I've been uh, sleeping at night lately. I've been uh, sleeping at night. Yay! That's all good. Well, maybe well, my sister just emailed me, so I'm going to oh, talk wow. to her. All right. Have yeah. a good one then. She's in Thank San Antonio, you. so. Oh, it's still late there. Where's the time so zone line at? Ahead. They're an hour ahead, I think. Okay. So the time zone goes through Texas? Yeah. Yeah, we have a time zone. Two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All righty. All right. Take care. Y'all have Hi, a good one and have a Hi. great rest of your weekend. You bet. You too. And stay out of trouble. If you can. Well, it's all you guys up here now. It's going to get loose. That's why I said that. Okay, then. <laughs> all right. Got- later. <laughs> Bye, y'all. And, and look, you two down there, you ain't got your hats on tonight, neither. Yeah. <laughs> they do want neither one of you got your hats on. That's funny. It's funny right there. Wait, where'd my hat go? Funny right there. Too much trouble to get mine. <laughs> oh, don't do it, Tim. Don't do it. Well, that, that's my dad over there. I know. <laughs> I know. 
Let's see. I was just, she's not doing any good. I put her person on. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Every night this guy goes through town in a trucker that he uses the air brakes. What's it called? Jake breaking? Jake break. Right through town. Every night. 9.30, 45. Out of town. You get a ticket for that quick. Oh, yeah. Every night. I wish I had my paint gun. I'd go down there. I'd sit on the corner and I'd shoot his windows. Yeah. He's a little late tonight, but it's it's usually 9.30. It's 10 o'clock now. But anyhow. Yeah, most towns, it says you know, when they come into town, you, you see that sign, you're going, why? You know, I didn't know what it meant early on. But yeah, yeah, what's the big deal? But this is it's loud. It's yeah. loud and it's thunderous. When yeah. they use but what's it? How do they do it? What is it that they're doing? And what's going on? It's exhaust. It's exhaust brake. Okay. On the engine. So oh. That's what you call a Jake brake. It it uses the exhaust to help slow your semi down instead of using um, the transmission. Mm hmm. So what do they do? They put it in a lower gear or they just take the gas off or no, they hit a button and it it reroutes it reroutes your exhaust. Okay. Uh, to help slow the sound down. Okay. okay. Yeah. But what it makes it do, G, is it makes it a compression stroke on exhaust stroke, just like and that's where you get your braking from. Oh, so you're yeah. in compression on a fire inside and then you're getting compression on the exhaust side. But now like, is it not is it not harmful of the motor then uh, is it? No, not on the diesel. Okay. Because if they got a button for it. No, it saves your motor and it saves your engine or okay. your transmission. Oh okay. Well but, but it, makes there. It, it makes it five times as loud. Yeah. It makes it five times as loud uh through the exhaust. It's through the turbo. You hit a button and bring the motor down in the gas. Yeah. How are you doing, James? Hey, Tom. One time. Mm -hmm. I love our jet brain. <laughs> Barrel down the mountain. Yeah, I, I knew they did it during the down the mountain. And that makes sense. And I heard it before back you know, way out there in the La La Land, but in the city, coming up on flat land, you're doing 35 miles an hour? Come on, man. Unless yeah. they have a heavy load, they need uh, help braking. Extra. But I haven't seen the load, but every night about 9.30, this guy rolls in here, and like it's 10 now, so it's late. And it, well, it's a Saturday even, right? Yeah. So I think it's a crew. It's probably, a, we have some uh, gravel pits out here. That have those double belly, those V-shaped belly dumpers. They 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 triple triple pull out here. Yeah. 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 I'll so be right back. Could, yeah, it could be that. Could be that. All right. James, how you doing, buddy? Yep, yep. Adventures of RV Adventures, yep. Or and Adventures of RV Adventures, yes. Tracy777. How you doing? How you doing? Xanadu's here. Okay. Loves your Jacob Break It. Yeah, I've never experienced it in any vehicles that I've had. I've used, um, you know, the motor, the clutch, drop the clutch and just slow down. In fact, I, I unless my car is now doing that, I have not ever had to change the brakes on a vehicle that I've owned. Because I just use the motor and I just slow down way before I get there. You know, you got to stop. You know, you see the stop sign. You see the light. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. There's one thing that I hate right now. I went and looked at these pickups here the other day. Yeah. And did you know you can't buy a half ton pickup that's got a standard transmission? You can't even special order one. Now nah, I've seen that. They're kind of doing away with that, huh? Yeah. You cannot get a standard transmission in a fifteen hundred truck. Yeah, half or less. Yeah, I think you've got to go to four fifty in a four to get a standard. 
why do you think that is? Is just they just want to eliminate what they're doing, or they don't want to make them? I don't know. Too small. Maybe they make it. Maybe they make the automatic cheaper now. Yeah, because yeah, back in the day, it was like you had to pay a thousand bucks extra, didn't you? Was that the way? Yeah. But you, you make a standard do what you want it to do. Yeah. There's a lot of things you can do with that standard. Yeah. But I thought, well, I'll find you know, GMC or something that's got a standard. I checked every leader and they can't even order. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. yeah, James, that's what I was saying. I didn't think that was legal. You know, here it is right in the center of town. It's uh, We're a one-light town, and they, every night they roll in, and that's um, – I guess it's a three-way stop, and they all have the lights on red, but he's always Jake breaking at the same time every night. And then, uh, yeah, I don't think so. There's nobody standing on the corner, but. <laughs> yeah, it's warming up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing that, too, that the um, some of the vehicles that I was looking to get, too, that they uh, – did or didn't have uh, a manual. Yeah. So. I like a manual. Yeah. I uh, I kind of phased out of that uh, probably 10, 12 years ago. I'm going, I have two torn rotator cuffs. I've been in casts. And then I ripped the, the bicep off this forearm. So that's shifting. And I didn't have surgery on this shoulder. And so that shifting is not not high on my list of fun things to do. No. Oh, and then my knees. <laughs> but yeah, it keeps your joints moving, doesn't it? Ben, you, you have a good night. Zen dude's out of here. I said, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm missing something here. Oh, John Chucker showed up. We doing? Happy birthday. Yep. Happy birthday. We should have sang happy birthday. Did you leave? We can. The Jake switch might be stuck on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I know it's got to be more than one truck. It just can't be magical because here it is 10 o'clock on a Saturday over here. All right. All right, then. You have a good one. All right. My Ford Flex has automatic tilt when I move the gear and shift it to sport. Yeah, that must be nice. Well, yeah, they're doing that fancy stuff, too, where you can have a automatic, and then you can have either slide it sideways or, you know, there's, there's a little bit of shifting going on. But you want a full manual, huh? Yeah, I'm going to tell you what. They're even doing it on motorcycles now. They got dirt bikes that got automatic transmission. What? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's weird. There's a lot, a lot of young people who don't know how to drive a standard anymore. A bunch of them. No. Driver's training. I learned on one. That <laughs> feedback delayed. <laughs> That's funny right there. Maybe the driver's signaling to his sweetheart. Yeah, come on in. Now, that might be. I'll meet you on the corner, girl. So I found out with uh, with uh, my sh I have a Chevy chassis. It's a forty five hundred series six liter uh, yep. engine, and I have the uh, six speed Allison transmission in it. Zoom, I zoom. found out that when you're in tow mode, uh, when you're up in the mountains going up and down, if you hit the brakes once, it puts you into brake assist mode. And you don't have to do shit unless you start traveling too fast. Then you gotta then you gotta manually shift down, uh, and and then I got um, a plus and a negative to go up gear, down gear. Yeah. So um, I I tripped that twice. Um, I never seen it once when I was on my travels. Um, because it was just a brand new RV. I wasn't watching uh, the the dash command message center. Sure. Whatever you want to call it. 
But when you hit it, when you hit the brakes once, it puts it into brake assist mode. So is that just a gearing issue or actual brakes? It acts well. I I think what it does is it brings it down into a lower gear. Yeah. And I don't know if I don't know if it's actually assisting the brakes or not. Yeah. You, you definitely can feel it. Yeah. Gets luggish, gearish. Yeah. yeah. All right. So they're trying to do a lot of stuff with the automatic transmissions to um for um like Jake brake and brake assist and stuff like that. Um and yeah, it's it's hard to find manuals now in in a lot of the the newer um I think you I think you mentioned 2500 series on up run. Mhm. What on the on the grand yeah. yeah, automatic automatic transmissions on yeah. uh, the north stuff. It's all the way up to 45. Done in half. Wow. Okay. That that is you you can uh 2500 or 3500 you can't get one yeah but i would want a 3500 i mean a 2500 i was looking at. yeah that's only quarter ton right yeah three quarters yeah so james says these uh, 18 year olds can't drive worth diddly but the last line i don't get government wants to change the age for drivers is that raise it up or a commercial driver. yeah you ought to have some experience be before it's getting behind a monster truck you know that's just silly right there they spit them drivers out of them driving school left and right man oh yeah they spit them out and yeah they've what gone around the parking lot a couple of times all right yeah. go ahead man well Ooh, and yet they're going to get to, I think several of them have new automatic transmissions and then these semis too, right? Oh, yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. Because otherwise, I know there's like 14 gears and then you got another reach around and you got another 14 or so, right? Sometimes more than that. Seven and seven? Yeah. I mean, they're in third or fourth gear before they get to the next crosswalk. They're just the whole intersection. They're like, what, four or five gears? It's crazy. Oh, yeah. You just don't know how much weight they got. If they don't have the weight, they don't have to do that. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, uh, but no, the Volvo is nearly all of them are automatic. Man, that's just wild. And, uh, on the dash. The, the thing about these new drivers, it's not not the mechanic end of it. It's uh, <laughs> knowing how to turn a damn corner or how close yeah. to run or. Where that truck will fit. Wow. Yeah, I've got, 80,000. I've got out of my truck many a time and crawled up in a cab of somebody else's truck and back it up to a dock. They couldn't. Nah, jeez. Wow. <laughs> Get out the way. Get out the yeah. way. Look at that. Tw 21 gears, y'all. Mm. Yeah. That's some, that's some shit right there. there. Zan Xanadu, uh, that's Baron Dawn, I think. Uh, yeah, they turned, they turned it on downhill assist. Um, usually, uh, anytime I had it was when I had, uh, the tow haul mode, I had that and I hit the brakes real quick and looked at the dash and downhill assist comes on. Huh. So it drops your gear in the transmission. And I don't know if it assists with the rear brakes uh to help you slow down i don't know how it exactly works yeah it sounds like a gearing thing because it it would sense that it's lugging on the transmission like it's pushing you know what i mean it would sense a load yeah but you activate it by hitting the brakes real quick yeah okay and that's as far as i know uh i'm gonna try to figure it out exactly how and how long it, it helps. But they might have the point right there. They might want to read the manual. <laughs> uh, you know what? No. My RV, I got no manual. It's all online. We still can have a manual to read. You know, it's, you can find it. it go it's read all it. online. Yeah, you can read it, though. Okay, Pete has 18 speeds. 
What's and reading? A 425 cat. That's 425 cat is a hawk. That's a lot of cats. <laughs> Duke don't like that one, huh? Yeah. What? Go get the cat. Hey, get it, get it, get it. Squirrel. Reckon. Oh, here he comes with his toy. Oh, my God. There we go. My right. dog was barking the other night. Tim's dog went crazy. <laughs> All right. Yep, get out there and try it again, y'all. Go get it, Duke. Well, then go get the squirrel. Don't look at me. My dog wasn't happy a while ago when I picked him up. He was asleep. He goes, what in the Sam hello are you doing, man? I need to put manual in the bathroom. Yep, that's where it needs to be read at. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just don't run out of toilet paper because it might not never get read. <laughs> no, no, it's online. Imagine that. <laughs> He's on his tablet. Hey, I thought you were sitting on oh. a day. Oh, I'm gonna. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought you were sitting on a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Imagine that. So follow up with Ron's comment. So it's on your tablet, and you run out of paper. You take this manual. <laughs> I don't need to say no more. <laughs> No, nope, it ain't the Sears Robux. Hey, look, Everybody. Bob, the Sears Robux on this pad. <laughs> Everything else is one electronic. Oh, yeah. That sucks. Bring your toys. It's just stupid, man. Wait. Imagine that, like Tim says, so he can't get to the internet to get to his manual. So if he's pulled off the road, you know, and the internet's down, you can't You're fix screwed. nothing. You know? <laughs> Man. Don't you know them people who are in Tonga are having a fit with no, you know, they don't have anything over there. And they won't have for two or three weeks since that uh, cable got busted. Bring your toy. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah did you guys see that explosion? The uh, Tonga explosion? Yeah. yeah. From outer What's space. That? Insane. Yeah, they, and and they, they felt a, the sonic boom in like California and and South America. I didn't hear it. I didn't feel it. Well, you're a little inland and probably a little further north, but yeah, you weren't looking to it. But man, that's crazy. Yeah, you, like, see, you see the explosion, you can see the wave, the shock wave, like boom, boom, instantly. But go ahead, Ron. So they had. Uh, Earthquakes in Texas and Montana, California, Oregon. There was about ten states that had earthquakes yesterday. What? Wow, I didn't hear that one. Okay. And uh, hmm. but that's what usually happens. If you have something like that, a major deal, it it shows up. Shows that's up. What California catches heck every time Japan catches it. Within two weeks, California's gonna get. Wow. On the earth. Yeah. Hey, I'll have open, I'll have ocean front property here soon enough. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But that guy knew what he was done when he built that London Bridge and Quartzite. Yeah. Yep. Be a stretch, man. It'd get some water back. It'd be the wrong flavor, but <laughs> imagine that. Imagine that, Tim. Like a what a hundred foot wave come over there and. Come right up your pipe, wouldn't it? You guys are considered a, a bay. Uh, well, we're Central Valley. Uh, yeah. Sacramento Sacramento is like right at the freaking water line. Hey, Amy's here. Uh, matter of fact, matter of fact um, Old Town Sacramento. Yeah. Uh, the original street is, <laughs> is one story below the, the new street because... It was right on the water line, and they would get flooding, like you would not believe, coming up through the delta. Yeah, they had to raise. They had to raise the land, and they sunk the first level of like two story to four story buildings. They sunk the first level below it, and you can actually take a tunnel tour of the <laughs> original street and yeah. the original first. Uh, first level 
uh, of the uh, the old school buildings there, wow. and it's pretty crazy. I haven't wow. I haven't done it yet because they do it during the week, and yeah. not on weekends. That's silly. It's like a job. Amy's in the house. What are you doing Hello, there, Amy? Where's she at these days? She must have just got mm. off work. Another cruise. Want to come up? I'll throw you the link. Wow, that's wild. Yeah, there's lots of tunnels in San Francisco too, but that's from like the Chinese underground, right? Yeah. The smuggling yeah, back in the a day. Yeah, there's a big 100-foot wave. Bye-bye, yeah. San Francisco. Yay, no more. Well, never, I won't go there. <laughs> No, there, there's some trashy people living there, man. They're doing their busting, stealing, and people living on the street. It's like, holy moly. Yeah, San Francisco is, uh, yeah. Uh, LA's it, armpit. wave would wipe that totally out, and it would come inland up to, yeah. like, Sacramento. Yeah. No, yeah. With, without a problem. Oh, yeah, and it would do some damage there, too, because is there is there any locks between Sacramento and the ocean, it's all just tunnels or channels, right? Channels. Yeah, yeah. It's an inland port. They divert. They divert the water from the mountains um, down through the deltas yeah. um, and uh, headed down uh, along I five all the way to uh, South um, LA. Wow. Or Southern California. Well, dang, Amy, does that mean you're not coming up? <laughs> oh, yeah. Just have to work. I go back at eight. Five more days. Yeah. And then six days to the cruise. So she's working like double time or something, right? <laughs> Trying to get her hours in so she can take a little vacay. Oh, yeah. Going on a holiday. What are those chaps? Yeah. Why do we call it a vacation and then they call it a holiday? Yeah. Different languages. <laughs> cultures. Something like that. Oh, yeah. What else? Yeah, yeah. I'm eating dinner. Yeah. Just chillax. <laughs> Tim does that all the time. He's good for what? Give us three minutes, Tim, or what? <laughs> for what? Oh, she says she's just going to, you know, hit the hay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, we should warm up here. It's 19. Yeah. Oh, and then minus 10. Woo, nippleitis. That's right, cold right there. Yep. It's going to hit were, seven. Huh? We were 66 today, I think. Yeah. Well. It's yeah, uh, it 20. Would have been the hottest day we've had in a while. Oh my gosh. At, at 60, though? Uh, oh, so supposedly we got up at 68 today. Oh, 68? Yeah. Oh, 62 well, that's. Tomorrow. Holy moly. Uh, it's been hitting. We had 48 here. But, dude, really? with direct sunshine and clear skies at 48, it's pretty nice. But you get any kind of shade? Oh, heck no. You feel it all 30, that. 39 degrees tonight, though. <laughs> so that's a 30, 30 degree change. But there's no clouds. That's why. Yeah. Well, I'm at uh, 25 and it'll hit 17. <laughs> yeah, shut your pie hole. Burr. Yeah, 17. Woo, doggy. All right, Florida's down to 32 tonight. Woo, what's that all about? They wow, better tuck they some oranges in. Well, they got that Tampa RV show. That's that's cold. Yeah, that's going to. Well, what if it just goes down, hits it, and comes back up? That's that's not going to do any damage. They got uh, they got big wind farm or uh, fans that blow the, the, the warmth around. Yeah, they won't freeze. You gotta have that couple nights in a row. Okay, sounds like everything's cold, right? Yep. Time for a beer then. <laughs> right. Oh, my neighbors were drinking beer all day long. Man, 
And you're like, you're going to be going to bed soon. <laughs> who? What? Your neighbors. Eventually, right? Amy, how cold is it in Amarillo? Amarillo. Oh. It sounds like a drink. The Bengals. Yep. AFC North. There you go. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, did anybody watch the fight today? Or there was supposed to have been some big fight tonight. Look that one up, Tim. I don't know about uh, a fight. Yeah, it was some heavyweight fight. Houstoners down to 30. About five hours tonight. Oh, that's going to be cold then. 29 down where she's at. Oh, feels like 19. Got it windy. Yep. We, we finally starting to bust out of it. It's supposed to be like 46 or low tomorrow. In the but it has been cold. Go meows. Go meows, huh? <laughs> Where's that supposed to be a bangle? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah, 40. Yeah, I like I said, if I get 48, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> oh my I can't believe Cincinnati took out Tennessee. Oh. In Tennessee was uh, they were number one. Number one at what? <laughs> In um Oh my gosh. Number one be- on um, AFC side. Okay. Look at these people bragging in their face now. 62. Right. That's pretty nice right there. Now the Chiefs need to win. Yeah, then the 49ers need to pull it off. Well, 49ers are already 49ers are already up there. Yeah. Cincinnati's up there for uh, AFC championship and 49ers are there for the NFC championship. Both teams. Oh, both number one teams got the boot today, huh? Man. Yes, yes they did. Drama. Nice. Sort of yep. kind of. Green Bay. Green Bay freaking lost. Ooh. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get, if I can, I'm going to get a Green Bay hat and not because of the team, because of what? The letter G. Oh, whatever. No, really. No. How many other teams have a letter G? I don't know. Yeah. I don't have my high school colors either, too. Yeah, I went to the store. They got a new store here, and uh, the guy sells the shirts, the jackets, and the hats and whatnot. And he had he didn't have one. And he says, oh, yeah, we're out of those. They really want them. Well, I don't follow it enough to know that why. But I guess they were kind of up there this year, huh? Tim? I hope Buffalo kicks uh, Kansas City's uh, butt. Oh, yeah. All right. Last man standing. <laughs> now, see, Kenny don't get to say that. Because he is sitting in his uh, fancy chair y'all got him. But he's still up, right? Unless he's, uh, unless he's went to the another back. wrong campfire, <laughs> <laughs> Amy. Watch my mouth. <laughs> yeah, say it, Amy. That's five words. That's five words right there. Sorry, Amy. <laughs> yeah, sit down, dude. Wade's back. I, I thought Kenny would be back at his hotel by now. I don't know. Ask Wade. <laughs> Wait, are you the chauffeur? No, Kenny's in court site. Yeah. I talked to Ashley last night. She said she talked to Kenny. How much? That he was uh, having a blast. <laughs> having a good time. Oh, I missed this part. So this is uh, Greg. It's fit for exposition, and there's Kenny. 
Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. So, see the glow off his face <laughs> at the campfire? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. Kenny's headed back to the hotel for the night. Oh, wrong campfire. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did he bring his sleeping chair? No, he's in a real bed. I wonder how he's handling that. There we go. How you doing, buddy? William's in the house. Yep. No, but James, I'm I'm pondering that thought. Okay, so I have a van, and Tim, do you, um, I, I showed what I put in my van, right? And everybody loved it, but this guy right here, right? He goes, well, that's the ugliest thing ever. Yeah. I called it the ugly, ug, the ugliest chair award. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, not that it'll show up on this too well, but. So, it's a 1973 loungy chair, and it's in the van. But, Tim, Tim I'm all working on it. I'm put the bed up and all this mess. I'm getting terrible feedback. And yeah, I don't know what happened there. Yeah. So then I thought, well, Kenny sleeps in his recliner. And I got a recliner in here. And I'm going, I'm going to mute your mic for a minute there. Is that it? Is that it? Hello, hello? Yeah, Ron's got a little feedback. But. So I'm thinking, why don't I just put my recliner chair in there? Right. So I'm going, maybe I don't need a bed. It's been a good time. I can't I can't sleep on uh on my back. I have to sleep on my stomach. Oh you're a slumming. Okay. Yeah. Ron, how come uh, your your mic's all funny all of a sudden, buddy? With my neck and my back. I'm trying to think. I know. Okay. Yeah, you're a stomach, belly, kind of speaker, sleeper guy. Yep. See if that makes any difference. Oh, yeah. Well, that, yeah, that. Oh, I did. It did come back. Okay. I just don't okay, so, Yeah. I've got external speakers too, and I just unplug those. Okay. So maybe that's what I was picking up on. It's been a blast. Everyone, they donate. Oh, that's that's. that's I didn't I didn't run my banner. There we go. There you go. Dang it! Yeah, we didn't have a lot in here. All right. No, no. I forgot oh, to hit correct. the like button. There you go there, buddy, bud. Hit the likey. Hit the likey. Hit the like button. Okay. Kenny needs a, <laughs> a blow-up recliner. Yep. Yeah. Just pop up. Sleeper. Get your mind out of the gutter, G. No, look. It says it right here. What? A blow-up? Recliner. Oh, recliner. Oh, I didn't see that. You slipped. <laughs> Get your head out of the gutter, Ron. <laughs> Ron Daryl. Ron Daryl. Silly man. Hey, Ron. Can I get the link? <laughs> it's uh, it's at the top, ain't it? Is it? No, it's not. Okay, fine. You can, William, just for you. No one else. Yeah, you didn't have it pinned to the top. That's no. why I had to ask you. Well, I sent it out in an email that you didn't read. Yeah. I probably wasn't thinking, Tracy. There you go. He just heard blow up. <laughs> Kenny needs a blow up. <laughs> <clears throat> sure glad Papa's not listening at this late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pound it, pound it. 
Ron's in the gutter. <laughs> that was funny. But look, one thing about being in the gutter, there ain't no way to go but up. Hey, Amen. That's true. <laughs> Can I get a lead? Yep. Big, big time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd say a pop up. Would it, would it, yeah. Yeah. I want, how far back do they have to go to the hotel, dude? Was it like a 30, 30 to 40 minute drive, I believe? Man. They got to plan ahead, man. That's some time. Well, Blythe is not but what, 20 miles? Yeah, but they're still out in the desert, so. Yeah. It's, yeah. But I, I, yeah, I think I heard. they're on that side, though. They're on the Blythe side. They're west of Quartzite. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I never got coordinates, but. Or no, they're 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 north of Quartzsite on ninety five. Well, I thought so. They're they're north on ninety five, so you got Quartzsite and they're north of it. Uh oh, James is leaving. To the east. Good night, James. Thanks for coming in, buddy. Because they're at the free camp. They're at the free camp sites, which is oh, yeah. okay. eight miles north. Uh, it's eight miles north of Quartzsite, and yeah. then you go east about a mile or two. <clears throat> William's got them uh, orange marshmallows, peanut style. Look at these things. Oh, they're yeah. chips. <laughs> Amy, Amy's uh, saying the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, a little west, a little north. Okay. It, it's about eight miles north of Quartzsite. Uh, to Plamosa, Plamosa, no, Plamosa South and that South of Quartzsite yeah. in Plamosa. Like Quartzsite to Blant, Blake, whatever it is, that's 20 some miles, 30 miles. Yep, Yeah, Plamosa South. Well, yeah, something like that. Oh, so what did do? What what happened here? Blue Wave did something for uh, James. I, I didn't hear. Well, yeah, most of the road. The most the road. There, there you go. go. Yep. Yeah, that goes out. I think you can't you can't camp till about three miles in. So that's slow going. You know what's funny? You hear people talking about there's not room to camp out there. There's so much open country out there. It's on oh, yeah. frog biscuits. Yep. Yeah, yeah Eric, you would be able to throw a rock at your next door neighbor. You couldn't. Yeah. No, Eric. Eric showed that video today. Eric's uh, seven seven miles or north of Quartzsite, and there he couldn't see any video anybody in, in his sight. Yeah. He panned the he panned the camera, and you couldn't see anyone anywhere. Yeah. Of course, this video is probably two three days old, but still, it's uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it doesn't yeah. that. Uh, Big tent get over next week or Sunday tomorrow. Uh, twenty five ish. I don't know. Yeah. I, okay, I remember that now. They bought him a new uh, thermostat. He showed his thermostat all ripped off the wall and bought him a new one. I didn't know who who did it. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Sean from down under. Good day, gents. Well, somebody. Sean, eh? What are you doing there, Matt? Come on up if you must. Happy Monday morning to you. <laughs> I don't know what day it is over there. I know it's past Sunday. Is it late, late Sunday? I don't know. Oh, I've been sitting down too long. I had. Go to B chat. Okay. 
Circus peanuts. Yeah, I thought so, dude. <laughs> yeah, orange ones. And then you showed me a chip. I'm going, no, that's not what I saw. Silly boy. All right, what do we got? Doritos and peanuts. That's a combo. Almost 6 p.m. on Sunday. 17, so that's five. Five, six, seven, yep, quarter to six. Now, see, I can do that math. I can do that math easier than I could figure out what central time was. Ron, you've done military time for a long time, right? Do what? Do you do you uh, use military at all now? No. No. I wish we would have all done it that way. It makes more sense, but. Uh, I mean, when you, you're saying the young lads can't drive a, a stick, they can't tell what time it is on a, a round clock, right? No. So, <laughs> think about it is, they don't, you know, now all the trucks got the mechanical load. You don't feel the yeah. log out anymore. Oh, geez. I don't even have to do that. Man. So I'm sure being... somebody figured out a way to treat it, but I don't know. But... Well, they got GPS on them too, so I don't know. That's that's insane how they think they can do that. Because GPS is tracked by satellite, and that's oh, yeah. you got to have three satellites tracking you to have GPS. And on my drone, I get as many as like fourteen, just for a freaking drone. So yeah, there there's more than three on a on a truck. But that's imagine you've seen what's going on in LA and the car and the trains, right? You saw that yet? Mm -hmm. So oh, on the LA, train, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they busted in all these trains and threw all the stuff everywhere, and yeah, just made a heyday out of it. But I've been told now that that's been going on for six months, huh. and uh, they just turned their eye, they turned their back to it, like, oh, we can't catch everybody. Yeah, that's yeah. messed up. Yeah, well, if they wouldn't stack the trains there, they wouldn't get busted into. Or if they've known about it, they could just stick a couple of rent -a cops down there and have some presence, as in being there. You know? They were just sitting there, the cop, just the railroad cops were just sitting there watching them. Well, when there's 20 people busted in there, you can't catch them all. So it's like what, what, what I said earlier about in San Francisco, they're doing uh, raids at like, 10 minutes to nine. Okay. They get like six, eight cars with 30 people in them and they show up and they ransack the place. The rent a cops going, well, I'm not stopping them. It's 10 minutes to close. Everybody's got their guard down, you know, and, at three, uh, seven, start barking a few times. It'll stop it. Yeah. Hey, yes, Canadian Jess is in the house. We got to put her up now. here. There you go. How you doing? Uh, uh, I see Tracy's we'll here you. and Amy's here. Yeah, um, she's uh, she's just getting her little nightcap on. She's headed off to bed early. Me too. It's not early. It's like almost two a.m. here. Well, you the weekend, you know. Yeah, but it's she's working. It's only forty-two forty-seven. One forty-seven oh, here. Ten forty-seven. <laughs> took you took you a bit there, George. You're counting digits. You're pulling a lance military on us? Military time. It was military time. 2247. Oh. Oh, Where's God. Mr. Lance? He uh he only had a little chat. He didn't come in. Man, he didn't I didn't see him say goodbye neither. Where's my Lancey Pansy? I know, right? Watch him come in. Because no. I see that. He, oh, he has done that before. Yeah. He'll get up to to go to the bathroom and check <laughs> on us. Yeah, he sometimes listens. Oh, yeah. You were asking me if I go with military time. The reason I don't is I was dealing with civilians all my life in that business. But I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No, heck no. Military time. I love using military time because it confuses people. But oh, I do. Wait, wait. They look at you like, what? Why? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did that today. 
You put up lights? Girl, it's past Christmas. I know, but you know what? I'm a gypsy. Okay. I like I like bright lights all the time. Oh. Well, fairy lights are just clear, aren't they? Well, I didn't have clear ones. They had okay. these work ones were on sale. Work it. Work it. Work what you got. I'm crafty. Eh? Lance is in the basement. Yeah. Lance no. Is here. He's like toes up with white socks on. He's got his white socks on, poking out the end of the sheets. Yeah. Come say hi. See, I got my, I got my, um, night. I got my nighty stuff on. Can I'm ready right for bed. Okay. Hey, don't do that. You're like a little tiger. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, you guys, gotta check out the reading I did tonight. Oh yeah. Who yeah, for? I did, I did pick a stash, man. Pick a stash. Pick a stash? Pick a stash. I made that up, you know. A okay. lot of readers out there, they go pick a card or oh. pick a pile. Well, I don't want a pile. <laughs> yeah. I want stash. Yeah, stack it. Stack that. Yeah, stack We that. use military and the fire service, medical reports. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, you have to. Uh, <laughs> like serious documents. <laughs> Who's, who's that? How do I get this echo tonight? Who is that? I don't know. It's, it's going to run y'all down. Okay. Do yeah, I mean? definitely. I want to say something. Tonight. I like Wait, that you picture now? you have. I like that that I your not RV not house, mini house. That's so beautiful. I love that. I would love to have one of those. All right, y'all. Happy birthday and stay la vie. Glad you were here. <laughs> Glad you shared it with us. That's nice. Have a good one. Whose birthday? Oh. That'll do. All right, what do we got? How you doing? Mr. Williams. Williams. Williams, you staying high? Mr. Williams. You saving any cash Fine. lately? Where do you mean start? I don't know. You had a good one? How's work? Doing good? Busy, busy, busy. Okay. Oh, gee, did you want yeah. me to show you my new uh, my new monitor setup? Well, I was wondering. I mean, you spent three and a half hours on it. <laughs> Excuse me. I only had I only originally had two monitors. Uh, my Intel laptop and now my new company Solodyne laptop, but now I have three monitors and two laptops, so I have a total of five screens. You're disgusting. I mean, you're busy. That's a lot, dude. And then, and then next to it, and then next to it is my triangle desk, where I got a single uh, screen and desktop computer underneath it. Um. And what do you do with that one? Well, that's where I do all my video editing for. Um, oh, YouTube. so it's a standalone. Is yeah, it a more powerful computer? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So your uh, laptop is sort of work. It, it, it'll crunch videos like you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe. Wow. Well, then we ought to see one more than once every six months, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. If I wasn't derailed with uh, new, yeah, new work, 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 yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I want to take some classes on editing. Editing. Mm. I'm gonna look. Oh. Into, I'm gonna look into Skillshare. Skillshare offers a lot of things. Do they like offer us like kind of like bonuses too from ordering from them, like their courses? I've I never know. Heard of it, so I don't know. Yeah. I know a lot of YouTubers are using that Skillshare for a lot of things that they want to learn. Yeah, but they're also um, on there putting their own content on there and then marketing to you. Does that mean like you probably give them bonuses for ordering the course? Yeah. Yeah, if you go to somebody that's uh, said, "Hey, use use a link down below." Yeah, they. they Howdy. There you oh, go. That's set up. Oh wow. Okay, hold on. 
Fire bam. Wow. Fancy. One, two, That's three. A cool screen. Three three monitor plus two laptops. So uh, I'm gonna try to one arm this. These two monitors connect to this laptop. This monitor, <laughs> that monitor connects to that laptop. So I can go, I can go uh, extended mode from here, here to there, and then extended mode from here to the far one. Yeah. Wow. And that's all work. So you got, and then you yeah. have your own personal laptop. You're on. Uh, I have, yeah, I'm on my own personal right here, and there's okay. my desktop computer okay. with a uh, monitor and keyboard mouse. Yeah, that's why your neck man hurt. Yeah, you have to like, keep you, you looking at all the monitors. That's why your neck hurt. Uh, well, actually, I got this set up perfectly now, so it shouldn't mess with me. <laughs> Shouldn't. <laughs> shouldn't. Yeah, it should, shouldn't. It's all the same. It. Well, no, that's I have, good. I have pain every day. Some days are better. Some days are not. Some weeks are good. Some Whiskey weeks are and not. sunshine. Good morning. Whiskey and sunshine. They snowed in, man. <coughs> Where are they from? Hey, guys. Hey. Cold I'm, on, I'm on get off this thing. Y'all have a good night. Enjoy. All right, buddy. Thanks for your Go time. Go to the pee check, Missy. All right. All right, Ron, Have a good night. All right. I did look at the private chat. Oh, that's nice of you, uh, William. That's good that you saved another cat. All right, Ron, Keep buddy. Keep on saving those animals. Woo-hoo. We're coming in. Kind of crashed. Okay. There we go. So, can we share that there, William? Yeah. Okay. If you want Cass, to. Yeah, Cass, you want to read it? Yeah, I did. I did share. Um, I did read the private chat, yeah. Yeah, read it out loud. Share it with her. All right. Peeps. It says, it says my, my best rescue was saving a silver and white cat from floating down the river, fished him out of the river, held him close, uh, took him to the vet. His family are in Canada. They are coming to down to get him. Nice. So they found the owner? Wow. Yep. Man. So how far down the river did they float? It's from Canada? No, he saved a cat and, and he's got a, the cat's got a new family and they're coming from Canada to, to get him. Oh. No, the cat's family is in Canadian. They're coming up to uh, coming down to get him. Yeah, the cat comes from the north all the way down here, and they said, "Hey, you need to come get your cat." Oh my goodness! So you're saying it floated down from Canada all the way down to your place? Yep. Wow. That's a long travel. That's a long travel. Yeah. Well, wow. it probably didn't float all the way. It probably <laughs> walked quite a bit. Is that a go. real story or a fairy tale? No, it's real. He's legit. Legit. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Ron, you don't have to go because of me. Yes, it's always your fault, Sean. Yeah, always your fault, Sean. So I like your home, George. You like my home? I do. I love it. I want one. Yeah. I just won't build the, the a framey part next time. It was a quick build, so I had to do it like that. <laughs> oh, that was a quick build. <laughs> Yeah. A quick build would have been no A frame. Exactly. That's that's the style I like though. But I had to get fancy and whatever, right? So ever heard of the milk river miss? The milk river? Up that way. Cheers. Uh, cheers. It's a river that connects Montana to uh, Canada. Oh, okay. Canada? It's called Canada or Canadian. Yeah. Canada. Canada. It's a, it's a build, or village. If you're French, or if you're French-Canadian, you're a Canuck. Or, yeah. ca or Americana. 
So, <laughs> so he's in Montana and the cat walked all the way down and then tried to jump the river. And yeah. Wow. That's a cold one. Well, probably trying to immigrate over there. Immigrate. <laughs> Immigrations. Yeah, it was trying That's to. Awesome, uh, what do you call it? It was trying to smuggle itself. Yeah. <laughs> well, a smuggler. Oi. <laughs> I wonder what the burning sensation was. Okay. What's the burning sensation? <laughs> I don't know. Greg's back in the house. Greg's in the house. Tim, what are you doing, what? Tim? Hey, Greg. So, George, I have a question Good for you. you. Okay. Do you and uh, my... Dana live like near each other? Who? You and Dana? No, not Dana. Dana's in Alaska. That Dana? Then how, then how does it seem like you guys are in the same place? What? When? What? When you go you go live for her. I do? What? You no, live. she was on the live earlier, yeah. Well, I and she messaged me the other day, but uh no, but you go live on her live, like on her channel, or she's gone like you've gone on her channel, haven't you? Gone live on her channel before? About six months ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> Less like yeah. you guys were in the same area or something. Oh no. No, I gave her access to my stream yard for her to use, but she's never used it. And one night I clicked on all the outputs and it ended up on hers. And I didn't realize that I'd done that. That now was your I birthday, have, right? Huh? Was what? that your birthday? Uh, I don't know. Probably. I can't yeah, remember I when it was. I no, I screwed up. I popped in on your birthday, I remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so what it was is that it was funny because that was live at the same time and people were making comments over there, but I'm not on her personal account, so I couldn't answer any of them. I was just okay, broadcasting. That's what confused there. me. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. What is going on? Yeah, so is I just broadcast. And they're yeah. like, do they live in the same house? And they just they check in house? Don't tell nobody. Yeah, see my log cabin? <laughs> yeah, right. It's a dream house you got there. No, I like it. Tim says it's too <clears throat> small. Too small. <laughs> well, look at the big RV he has. Yeah. Tim. Wait. Are you in courtside too? No, Who? I'm in G's house. Yeah, see, I'm in, I'm out here in the tiny house. He's over there in my old house. <laughs> no, I'm still here in Northern California. I wasn't able to make it out to Quartzsite because I just moved to a, a new company uh, December 30th. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, the day before the new year. <laughs> Well, yeah, I get a W two for two days. That is crazy. Yeah, that's Ooh, look, messed up. Look at the energy I have between my fingers. <laughs> Careful, you'll fry your eyebrows off. Oh wait, I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to clip them then. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, yeah, I'm uh, broadcasting to my YouTube or my Facebook page. And YouTube. I wonder if I unclick it. it says oh. you're live. Yep. Now, I'm, now I'm in uh, my dog's room. <laughs> <laughs> the office. Yep. See the dog's office. Dog's got a safe. It, yeah. Don't don't mess with that safe. It's loaded. Uh, <laughs> if you use the wrong password, it goes boom. Yeah. So I loaded up ki ki kitty, I mean, doggy kibble? Uh, yeah, doggy toys. <laughs> <laughs> so Sean thinks you're uh, move, move around too much, man. Are you uh, in the witness protection program or something? Because you're no, seriously always 
Don, I'm I'm here at my house. I'm you not just showed us his, his his room with all the computers. Yeah. Yeah. I do have an RV. It's sitting on the side of my garage. Just like oh, me. So you only part timer. No. Nope. Yeah, I'm only a part timer. He's a weekend warrior. Oh, the weekend yep. warrior. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You're the glamper. Here, I'm yeah. just don't have to break your neck so hey, much. I still have I still have my tents and I can and I can take my forerunner, my four by four up in the mountains and go tent camping anytime I want. But you look like a guy that like you know likes his comfort. <laughs> uh, oh, no, I can now. rough it. I can rough it big time. Yeah, he had he was roughing it with the bears last week. Well, you know, who I really it roughed it, and I really enjoyed watching her when I first like started watching like uh, people that are out there doing that, like hiking, camping, all that stuff. Is like a lady that is in Colorado, and she's building her cabin now, and it's not a cabin; it's like a big house in the woods. <laughs> but the it, she calls it a cabin, but you know, she she roughed it in like minus a lot of weather, minus minus weather in Colorado, right? Was and she the one that had the platform and put the tent on it first? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Tammy, Spirit Forest. Yeah. Actually, yeah. one of the other uh, girls that uh, knows that knows Paula. Yeah. Went, went to her, went to her, like went and visited um, Spirit Forest, Tammy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I connected with her way before I even had a YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, you're just jealous. I can I can go tent camping anytime I wanted to. I've only had an RV since 2019. So you know how many people I've asked to go camping and they're all chicken around here. Like literally, nobody wants to get out of their comfort zone and go do it. I've camped up in the mountains and it has uh it's been freezing. 32 Fahrenheit up in the mountains in a tent. No <laughs> joke. <laughs> nice face. Look at I've face. never had snow on my tent, though. So how'd you stay warm? With, like, uh, heating pads and stuff? Like, heating those Just, hand warmers? Stuff? Uh, really thick, um, really thick um, sleeping bags, uh, zero bags. And you put comforters over the top of it and underneath you. If you're sleeping on a, an air mattress, you, you got to put um, at least a blanket underneath you because it'll get a lot of condensation by the, the morning. Yeah, and then you get wet and then you get cold and then you get sick. Yeah, you don't want that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just take the, the blanket that was underneath the sleeping bags. You just flip over your sleeping bags if there's condensation and take your blanket out and hang it up near a tree and let it dry out in the sun and you're good. Well, I survived in a shelter that was like, in a woman's shelter that was like that, like where the condensation built up in the room, in the bedrooms over the day because there was a fan that was going constantly. Like there was no window that opened, just a air fan and it wouldn't you couldn't shut it off you gotta have yeah. like and it was like every night it was like the bed was wet when you're getting into it i ended up getting sick the last time i the last night i had to basically spend should have spent at the ho at the hotel at that shelter i stayed in the car on the side of the road at my in front of my sister's house and the next day i walked into this house and i was like okay i'm going to go look at that house that was for a rent, and I the people told me I can go look at it. It was open, so I went and looked at them. I told them, I said, I'll take it. I was like, yeah, that was the last night I was going back. I was not going back to the shelter. Yeah, that's that's not good. <laughs> like it but was really a death trap, and that's in Windsor. That's a shelter in Windsor. It's like a death trap. Yeah, that's not good. Like women go there for safety, and then you go, and then you end up sick while you're there. I have, I had like bronchitis while I ended up with bronchitis to being there. Oh, Sean Miss Kenny was in here. Yeah. He, uh, he said it gives courtside a 10. 
Yeah, I can't wait for the videos to come out for people making some videos for up court site. Yeah. Uh Wade Wade and Camp Gar One were um with uh with Kenny a lot. They're uh they're helping him out. She's uh she's taking him back to the hotel and helps him come and go and Wade pushed him around all around town when they went and saw the London Bridge and and out there in the desert, I guess. So that he means Wade went to uh, that means Wade went to Lake Havasu twice now. He went with um, D and Paula and Yanai and I don't know the other the other gal that was with them uh, before the big meetup. So it was a girls outing, but Wade was with them, and Wade had to change D's tire because she got a flat. Going yep. to Lake Havasu. Yep. I saw that video. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I didn't see that their video, Wade, but yeah, I heard about that it. That means Wade's been there twice. <laughs> yeah. Well, and also um they went up uh up the Palms Canyon and D at 65-ish, right? She made it all the way to the top. Yeah, crazy good, eh? You know yeah. what the the Elders nowadays they have they have they have the strength that because they built it over the years you know like I used to work with a lady that was like almost seventy years old and she could pack faster than a twenty year old you know and she she would work all day long wills and wants and she chose to she didn't have to So people like that give me hope. I was like, yeah, I, I can't, I, I, I can't. If I get, if I'm as energetic as you are when I'm your age, I'll be fucking happy. Well, I hey, thought it, were hey George, funny, but um, what now, buddy? I want to, I want to try these first, but um, depending on how good these are, I want to send you. Oh. A sample and okay. do a taste test. But I also <laughs> want I also want to send some to Kenny. There you go. I don't, I don't know because I'm always looking for some off the wall stuff that he has never tasted yet. Oh yeah, that's so, fun. So make me the large man. Yeah. Hold on, I want to read this. So let me read these two. So um so I thought avocados were a zero, but I like them, Van Life Voyagers. Grok two was a ten. I, now did Kenny say that too? They get him to try off uh Grok. What? Grok a mole. Yep. All right, Tim, you ready? Yep. Going large. All right. Have you ever heard of this? I've heard of the Bacoy. brand. Bakoy Zesty Salsa Verde. Okay. Sounds and... like vegetarian. And it says kind of hot. Kind of, <laughs> sort of. Okay, bring it on. Uh, and then on the back, it oh. is gluten-free. You know what? Let me, wait, wait. Let me, Um, I got that blur vision on. Let me take that off real quick. Yeah, that, that uh, slows down your whole computer, it says. Maybe the live stream, but there you go. All right, so, and then you yeah. got the hot scale. Kind of hot. <laughs> I like that. Not hot at all, right? What's the bottom one say? No, wait. Mild isn't in our vocabulary. Neither is bland. Okay. Uh, can you handle this much flavor? Yeah, not hot. Kind of hot. Yeah, Morning, good. It's got a kick. A smooth okay. hint of sour cream. Uh, something lime juice and tangy mm -hmm. tomato. But here's the kicker. <laughs> we got wait. Get, Other side. It. Yep. Freaking hot. You see that in the corner? Oh my god. Freaking hot. Freaking yeah. hot. Oh, haunted ghosts. Oh, ghost peppers. <laughs> really freaking hot. Oh, poor Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. It's on, it's on the freaking hot scale. We're bringing yeah, it's it in, and it's it not, hurts so it's, good. 
Do Dude, you no. Care? No. Warning. It's not in the middle of the hot. It's pegged. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I suggest Kenny would take some sour cream with that one. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> you like sour it. cream. Yeah. It's freaking hot. An insane yeah. amount of ghost pepper. Dude, just send that one straight to Kenny. Even more ghost pepper. Don't even try it. Just send it straight there, man. The heat is real. Yeah, I, I don't. It's yeah, also I'll pass. gluten free and in other stuff. So sodium four twenty, huh? So, dude, don't no, no, one. no. You're gonna. You got a beer handy? Yeah, I got a beer handy. Okay. Or milk. I'm gonna try yeah, one. Milk. No, smell it. Is it hot smell? It smells. It smells like tortilla. Roasted. Chip. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look for a big one. Dark, roasty red one. All right. Lick it. <laughs> okay. It doesn't look, look over red. But... Okay. Slowly. Chew it long time. Chew it long time. Does it got a kick? Is it hot yet? now? It's building up. It's going to bite me. Take another one. Mm. It's building up and building up and building up and building <laughs> up. <laughs> Go get the milk. <laughs> um, hey, Duke, let me, let me grab your toy real quick <laughs> with the powder. Oh, you killer. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Get your toy off the couch. Um. All right, lick your fingers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tasty. You know what? It ha it does have a really good taste, and it just keeps getting hotter and hotter. <laughs> oh snap! Um. This would definitely probably beat the um. That extremely, extremely hot uh, chips you had. Yeah. Yeah. You these. Like, uh, you don't look like it's hot. Wait, is my nose sweating? <laughs> I don't want to look, but does it feel is like my nose it? sweating? <laughs> yeah. Don't don't touch it. No, no, no. Okay. No, I'm using my. <laughs> yeah. Others. Yeah. Yeah. Don't put oh, that on your eyes. Wow. That was just one chip. Yeah. No thanks. Um, I'll send you a bag. No, no, no. Just send that straight to Kenny. <laughs> no, I want I want you to try it. Okay. Go oh, hey, cool hot. Hot. No, it's it's hot. It's not snot. It's hot. Yeah, it's not hot. He's going in deep. It's not hot. Go See, you should have done the mild one first, though, dude. I should have done this. The, the yeah, not so. Salsa. Yeah, because you're not even going to taste just them. I came up with the chip name. Snot hot because when you eat it, it's so hot it makes your nose run. Snot hot. It's not. It's snot hot. Really. It's not hot. <laughs> it's just flaming hot. Which is no, really? like really, it's not hot. Hot. Mm. That's the yeah, name we'll for chip. If someone comes up with it, I took that name. That's my name. I'm sorry. My invention. Right. It definitely has a really good taste. Yeah. And, um, it definitely, um, the intensity uh, builds upon itself. Yeah. And you just touched a dog's toy and you threw it. He already licked his fingers. I already licked my fingers. I'm sure it's okay. Still Stove is full. Going back to sleep. Okay, dear. Hope you don't have any frozen eggs. Two degrees. Oh man, nighty night. Well, I'm gonna. I just wanted to pop well, on. You and can like, me off the big screen. Oh, I thought you were still eating. I thought you were gonna go for the other ones. Second bite. Well, no, I'll, I'll have to right. try them a, a different day because. Yeah, you will now. I won't be able to taste these now. No. Nope. <laughs> Are they lime? Are they lime though? Um, Grab one of each and put them in your mouth. Yeah. Zesty salsa verde, yeah, with uh, with lime, uh, tart lime juice. His taste buds are ghosted now. Yeah, 
and a hint of sour cream. Oh, don't tell Kenny. Okay, maybe you should just burn those chips. Yeah, they're pretty much on fire now, right? Okay, oh, yeah, they're warm. Oh, you guys, I channeled a song tonight when I was doing a reading. I like literally had to say it, and I was very giggly through the, through the reading, so I don't know what energy was reading. Whose energy is reading? No, I don't need to burn the chips. The chips are already burning. <laughs> yeah, if they're so hot, why don't they just burn through the package? Eh. On a scale of 1 to 10, those are definitely hot. <laughs> Can you be like, hot? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. They're, wait, what did they say? Freaking hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, I hope I got them all. <clears throat> It's not hot. It's not snot, snot at all. Yeah, we could call it's them snot, snot hot because they make you snot. Oh, my oh, nose, my nose is, uh, my nose is wet. Uh -oh. Are you that snotting yet? Are you <laughs> snotting? Snot hot? Come on, man. It's no, the, the exterior of my nose is wet. That means it's hot. Wow. Wait till the inside starts running. You Ooh. take a second bite, maybe the inside of your nose starts running. Then it'd be snot hot. <laughs> No, I, don't, I got no sniffles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sean, I'm the I'm the sexiest sales guy you've ever seen. <laughs> what are you selling? <laughs> I could I, I could buy your shoes, and and resell them and sell them back to you and make twice the profit. Yeah, about a bank. I have some old shoes that need to be resold. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, send them to Tim. Win eight hundred. Seriously, you work on shoes? No. <laughs> no. I was gonna say, I have shoes you can work on. No, that was just a joke. Uh, because Sean's like, what kind of sales model are you? Yeah. <laughs> well, He's the hot type. The hot I'm type. Not hot type. Yeah, he's uh, th this kind. Hot chips type. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hot chips. So actually, actually, the burn, the burn is is going down. Yeah. And you didn't drink anything. Uh, no, I, I. You're good. No, my beer's right there. I haven't touched it. Okay. So, like, I do you like? Do you have like different like? What's your culture? Like your blood, your culture, culture. Uh, um. A positive. No, uh, I mean like, you know, what are you German, English, whatever. Oh, whatever. Um, I'm 57 Heinz, but I have royalty from England and from Scotland. In my, I was wondering because of how white, well, how you can like, you know, they by your culture is is also by the 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 heat that you can take in your in your taste buds or whatever. Like you know what I mean, like the yeah. different culture. So like mm -hmm. if like a Canadian eats hot stuff, they think that like Tabasco, you know, the, just not Tabasco, yeah, like the Tabasco sauce or sriracha sauce, they think that's hot, right? Like a Canadian thinks mm. that's hot, right? Like you know, but like no. if you're like from a certain countries, you don't think that's hot at all. Like that's no, I, I have I have royalty. Um, matter of fact, I um, did um, uh, the the royalty thing online. Um, and, uh, King Edward, King Edward went from my father's side of the family to my mother's side of the family, back to another King Edward, father's side of the family, back to my mother's side of the family. I could do really do a reading on you then. Cause like I do like tarot cards are really with the court cards, right? They have court cards, you know, we got Kings and we got, we got, we got Knights and you know, we got. All that good stuff. There's a bunch of kings and queens, um, uh, knight templars in in my heritage. Empresses, emperors. And, and, yes, every everyone. That's pretty cool. I should do a reading for you one day. Yeah. That'd be no, cool. my cone's not going to melt. Out the shoot. 
What what is Sean saying? Don't they call that an upgrade? So, yeah, so are, you like Prince, are you like Prince Tim? Uh, maybe, Sir if I buy, maybe if I buy some land in, in Scotland, I could become a lord. We'll send you the certificate. Hey, but what's the name of his dog? Hello? Duke. Yeah, Duke. he's a Duke. Yeah, Duke of Wilson. Duke. Duke of Wilson. Hello. Recognize. Linda's in the house. She's back. Are you at the hotel now? Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I think I met some really cool people meeting this nomad group. <laughs> this tribe. Yeah. We tried. This, this nomad group always reminds me of this, this card. Let me see if mm. I can find it quickly and I'll show you. All right. Deal it. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Linda, we heard rumors. Tell I us that they're I'm... true. What rumors do we want to ask her? <laughs> is is Kenny in a recliner at his hotel? <laughs> no, he's in his bed, but I don't know how they do that. Maybe I think they could have ordered him up a, a recliner. Maybe. I'll be right back. All right, fine. All right, fine. See this card right here? See? Tim. I'm here. It's like I the tribe. That. But see how all of the all of the animals, they're all very different? Yeah. But they're all friends. It's called the tribe. Mm -hmm. There we go. Everybody comes from different, you know, walks of life. I Like, that's what I was like. Everybody's different, right? I love that. All right. All right. I just want to show you that. But anyways, I'm going to get out of really here, It was really cold out there tonight. Glad I had a heavy coat on for Kenny. Yeah, glad I had a heavy coat for Kenny. I told him to bring a heavy coat. Y'all laughed at me. Well, we don't think it's cold up there. <laughs> I wouldn't think it's cold up where you guys are. Do you guys gets, have snow? 45 degrees is cold to most people. Okay, it gets down to the 30s and even 20s in the desert. So yeah, in normal deserts, you will fry in the day and freeze at night. Yeah, it's it's the worst. Yeah. Oh, because there's dry air. Yeah, and all the heat goes away. The clearest, sunniest days could be the warmest, and that makes it the coldest at night. You know what? My I, skin would love it in that in that in that that climate because I have um, Haley disease, which means that. I break up more when I'm in humid humidity and Canada has like a lot of humidity. Oh really? Yeah, so that's weird. Yeah, you can have like cold sweats because it's you know hot that cold in your home. Yeah, it's in the it's in the high thirties there, thirty-eight at night. A lot of dampness, like a lot of dampness in the air. Okay. But yeah, so, when I went to Alberta, it's totally different even on Alberta. Like the look. air is so different there. It's Paul really brought cold, the cold air down. See, here the air is so thin that goes through anything. Yeah. Um if you're in a in an area where it's dry, at least you can put on a lot of things and stay warm. Hey Tim, Sean's calling you out. He says you're pounding down a gallon of milk. All right. Out of here. Bye, guys. Okay, so Love you guys. Ciao. See ya, William. You See ya, okay. Tim. Nighty night. Okay, so, yes, back at the hotel, Kenny just pounded down 10 chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? You got to feed him better than that. It's 11 o'clock at night. No, it's actually midnight 30 there. They're an hour. Well, it depends if they cross the California border, right? It's all the same. 11.30 at night to him. It's 0027. Yeah. Yeah. Military time. Yes, sir. Yucky. Okay, so, yep. Gee, what are those temperatures in real degrees? You so funny. Yeah, I know. No snow. It rained, though. Okay, lucky I had a large umbrella. Oh, my gosh. So it even rained down there, William. 
Kenny got rained on, but Camper One had a big umbrella for him. All right. Well, that's good. He came to a free shower. I know, right? When does Kenny head home? I think the 25th, if I'm not mistaken. That's next Tuesday. I think it was the 25th. When did he get there? 17? Yeah, I think that would be one week. Yeah. I don't know why he chose to have to go back at that day, but week's a week. Yep, let's see here. Yep, but nothing else open. Yeah, well. All right, bye, Cass. Yeah, um, chicken nuggets. I just don't eat that stuff, man. Oh, yeah. Well, you had a hot plate. You could have had some soup. And grilled cheese sandwiches. All right, fake cheese sandwiches. All right. He gets home the day before Australia Day. Like I'm supposed to know what that is. This guy's funny, man. You're so funny. <laughs> Tim, are you pounding beer or milk? <laughs> oh, he's penguin. Shaking like a loom, boom, 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 boom. Shaka like a boom, 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 boom. All right. Yep, Kenny goes home Tuesday, the 25th. Shaka like a like a boom, 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 boom. You hideous. Yep. Banging with his thumbs and he's conging on the drum. Boom, boom, boom. We're having some fun. <laughs> what do you think, William? Good. I'm whitey. Yeah. Plus the chips. <laughs> yeah, it sounds awesome. Right, dude. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy bongo time there. Oh yeah. It's uh it's a palm drum. Hand drum. Hand drum. Well crazy. Yeah, statically. Hang drum. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is Kenny out modding? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, of course he's out modding. Five by five. Well, he's 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 one less mod because he doesn't have his computer. So that means he has his tablet and his phone. Yep. And he has the internet at the hotel, so. He can oh, he's, mod. oh yeah, he's banging now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm. Well, dude, you brought us into four hours. Look at that. Uh oh. Hey Kenny. You yeah. crazy boy. Hey. <laughs> You've been having fun, huh? Oh, I'm having a blast. Of course. <laughs> of course, there's nothing here. If I come again, I this is a, I ain't gonna stay in this hotel. Man, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, and it takes about what a half hour for the water. Uh, it takes a good 25, 30 minutes before the water warms up. Dude, you need to be asking some money back. That place ain't worth what you're paying for it, is it? No, it's not actually. No, uh, you guys need to make a fuss, man. You guys had to go out and buy your own towels. Never in my life I've heard such thing. Uh, that's something I mean. I I, I booked hotels 
the whole 27 years. And exactly. You almost, exactly. You almost slipped and fell on the bathroom floor. Yeah. They ain't got no mats, no nothing to do. Uh, yeah. And get this, yeah. they got a handicap shower. But you don't have to go. Tell them you want your rooms. Oh, dang it. They need to have their rooms comped or they need to talk to their lawyers. That's what I would tell the front desk. See how that goes over, right? That's Are insane. You search a hotel? Yeah. Man. I hope they, I hope they come back up. I'll put the link in again. Man. Yeah. Sounds yeah, like that's a motel. Sad. Huh? It sounds like a motel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Motels are probably... Yeah, I don't get it. That's sad. Because Kenny was being told that he was going to get charged like $1,700, guys. Yeah. Yeah, that's way too much. Yeah. Michael Ann, how you doing? There we are. Okay. They're trying. Can't see you yet. There we go. Okay, there you are. I'll bring you up. Yeah, you're a little gurgly. Can you get closer to the window? Uh, yeah, we can go over on his side of the bed. Or on his, on his bed. I'm his side of the bed. Okay, is, it, is, it, is it blurry now still? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so you guys need to have your rooms calmed or say, hey, I need to talk to my lawyer because this is not fair to you guys at all. Never have I heard yeah, of what you guys are going through. It's pretty lousy, actually, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's running over the dog dish. But, uh, no, I, I mean, it's just, they don't have enough linen or towels or whatever, you know? And I just think that it's just not managed right, you know? You got to run a business. You got to make sure you do work right. Uh, for a while, the and this is the very first one I've ever booked. It has a no shower chair. They got a handicap shower, but they got no shower chair. Wow. Yeah. And they don't have any. Uh, they don't have any uh, strips. They don't have any strips on the floor either. You know, for like in the shower when you go to um, when you go to get yeah, out of the shower, match, yeah. And it, yeah, those strips, whatever. They don't have those either, and that's really the tile gets really slippery. You know, yeah. so oh, yeah. and I told him I I suggested it this morning when I went in there to talk to him. You know. And it took a half hour for the water to heat up? Yeah, it's freezing cold. Oh, my gosh. They must have bad water heaters or something, you know? Well, how far I gotta, away? I got to get somebody guys... to fix mine. My my water heater, I don't have much, you know. But we have a lot of, we have a lot of like that, you know, that white deposits. Yeah, calcium. That, yeah, that, that stuff that builds up. We have yeah. a lot of that in Phoenix. And my show is like crappy you know i gotta get i have to find somebody to help me fix it what oh it's in there it's just down the, it fell on the floor or something yeah i seen it there today he was looking for his phone case oh, we got yeah. so, much, so much junk hey, in the car hey kenny i only had four trolls tonight <laughs> i know right yeah they were that weird russian stuff with the Probably the bad yeah. sides. Yeah. yeah. That's all I, I do. Uh, this is actually the first live stream I've actually been able to uh, 
Three of them since I've been here. <laughs> I know, man. That's awesome. The internet's, hey. been, the internet's been terrible. And, yeah. Oh, and I had a bad experience with the airlines, too. I know. You lost your computer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, I, we filled out the. Uh, we, I, I helped him fill out the form the other day and and describe it and and went mm -hmm. you know time and date and flight and all that number stuff that he needs to report it. So when he gets back to Charlotte, he can you uh, know see if they can if it's investigated and they can find it. You know, well, I'm gonna go back on the radio footage too. And they told me mm -hmm. that I could, they told, they took my deodorant and took my toothpaste too. Well, it was over three ounces. Did you have a Did you have a big tube of toothpaste? Yeah, it was over three ounces. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was probably too big. I'm gonna put that in my luggage this time. Yeah, carry on. Yeah. I'm not gonna put it on my carry on. I'm gonna put it in my luggage. Oh, okay. You check stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Is that why the computer had to get taken out? It was in your carry-on? Yeah. Okay. Well, it could have been broken uh, on the luggage part, too, though. But, uh, yeah, you sh you. I think you have basic insurance on uh, tickets no matter when you fly. Well, see, I, I asked for travel insurance. Okay, good. And they looked at me like I was nuts. Oh, they geez. had no idea what I was even talking about. I yeah. spoke to three different people, and neither one of them knew what I was even talking about. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the right hand doesn't know what the left hand's doing. So you yeah. did get it? You did get insurance? No, I, I don't oh. know. But oh, I, 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 they, they had no idea what I was even talking about. Oh, my goodness. I spoke to three different people there at the airport. I asked them, I said, what do I do about getting travel insurance? They're like, what? What are you talking about? I said, it's I said, it's for like when your luggage gets lost and, and things like that, you know, and stuff, but they didn't. I still had no idea. Oh my gosh! So no, um, that's oh my gosh. Hello, somebody give me somebody knows what I'm talking about. Wow. So I don't know what to expect when I go back when I go on the cruise. I know, yeah. I know I'm gonna make sure I don't put that. I'm gonna put that stuff in my luggage this time. I know that. They may yeah. give me a first time, but they ain't going to give me a second time. No. Yeah, you may not get your laptop back, or you might get your insurance to pay for it because that's, man, there's about 10% of luggage well, gets lost. Yeah. Well, a good. I have a good feeling that it, it's, it's at the airport. Yeah, probably. It, it's in that section where it's... Uh, they put it in the uh, lost and found section. There's right. a lost and found section at the airport. Yeah. Yeah. And you go and, and they keep those items there for at least 30 days. Oh, absolutely, dude. Yeah, you're 90, right. 90 days, you're 90, right. 100%. 30. Yeah. But there's also a store, like it's like a Goodwill, that the airport actually donates yeah. all of it to a right. store. Mm -hmm. And they, it's like in, like in your area. I think it's over there. It's that, in Tennessee. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a big it's a, store where people go, and it's everybody else's luggage. Yep, that's what I told them. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, but but again, you're right. You got 30 days that they'll they'll keep it there. It's just mattering if you know who's honest, right? So, yeah, I think they. I think you'll get it back too. Well, see, the thing I was, when they went through that security thing, they wouldn't let me stay there with it They because the guy had me over here filling for me to find out, you know, to, to fill in them for me. 
They wanted me to take my belt and suspenders off. I said, no, you don't want me to do that. You will get a show then. Okay. Well, I had my arm in a cast, and I couldn't reach around past the midway to my hip, and they did that to me at the airport too. And so I said, okay, well, I have to take my pants off to put my belt back on because I cannot get it through my loops. And as soon as I dropped my drawers, they said, well, do you need help? <laughs> yeah, I had to take my pants physically off to put my belt loops through my bag. They, they, they want me to do that, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know, I right? Like, you can tell that. you're just a full-blown criminal trying to sneak something on. Yeah. I, I, said, uh, I said, no, you don't want me to do that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I said... Uh, you will get a, you will get something shown that you ain't gonna want to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, buddy. Let's uh, let's get off of here and uh, let you get some sleep and sweet dreams. And I hope to talk at you again, man. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out this hotel Monday, and uh, I'm gonna start heading back. I'm gonna. Start I'm going to go to her house because I just found out I got on the last pair of britches yeah. home right now, and I ain't got no more clean clothes right now. Yeah. Well, there's a, you know, we can wishy-wash them in the tub. But uh, once you get out of that hotel, you need to call your bank and say, I want to block my charges for this place because I did not get the services rendered. Well, the thing is, it's... Uh, I, it would, I'd have to go through a long process and, you know, and it'd be a big mess, brother. Well, you don't know till you ask, and that's all you're doing is asking. And, you know, it may still have the same outcome, but I'm just saying, dude, you are not getting services rendered, and you should not be paying the full price that you are. You need to pay for something. I ain't asking you to get a free ride here. But, dude, you're being... Pay, you're paying for something that's not of the value. And that's what services rendered are, is that you didn't get that. If you asked for a bowl of oatmeal and they gave you a cracker, is that legit? No. no. And and you asked for a room with clean towels every day and not risking your life getting in the tub? Yeah, if you go cracking your skull, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're going to sue them. And I ain't asking you to do that, but I'm just saying – you're not getting what you're paying for. And that's all I'm saying. So ask. And if it happens, it happens. If not, you know, we'll move on. But anyhow, let's just, let's just pray you get your laptop back and be done with that and try again next year. You got a lot of people that's going to help you next year, aren't they? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something different next year. Oh yeah. See? So you got experience to know what you can and cannot do. And that's, you got this down now, huh? Yeah. And, uh, I'm on a, uh, I'm going to try to, um, do, do something different. Was... No, you will do something different. Yeah. Yeah. Next time, travel there by road instead of plane. Yeah. Well, somebody's going to say hi to you, Kenny. Hey, George. Hello, hello. Hi, I, was, I was just getting to bed, going to bed when I saw your uh, email. <laughs> and I no, thought, finally. I, don't, I wasn't sure whether you were still going or not. Yeah, we've been here for four hours and 28 minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, this, uh, yeah, don't be a jerk. Yeah, they're uh, messing with you, dude. Anyhow, let's end it, end it on a positive. Well, darling, we're ready to close this shop up, and you're just here for the minute, right? I guess so. <laughs> I just yeah. said, I'm sorry. I We were oh, gone shopping sorry. all day and just... Yeah. Out doing any everything and well, and it's I, midnight uh, on my side of town. Uh, I am not sure what time it is. Uh -huh. Oh, it's almost midnight here. It's eleven okay. fifty-seven. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, 
Kenny, uh, Kenny just got back from uh, the big campfire and having a lot of fun and was sharing that with us. Yeah. I heard he lost his luggage. Well, he lost a laptop and some other items, but. I lost my laptops and I, they took my toothpaste and, t and deodorant. And, uh, and so I, uh, I had, when I got here, I had to buy some more deodorant toothpaste. I know, right? Did you buy the now small ones? So I only got to use that toothpaste one time and that deodorant one time. And I, I asked him, I said, you, you don't get it back? And I said, nope. Once we take it, it's, it, it's gone. Well, those well, are at the, least the cheaper items to have to replace. Yeah, that's like $2 each or something. But the yeah. laptop's another story. <laughs> yeah, that's another level. Yeah, that yeah. thing was eight hundred some dollars a whack when yeah. I bought it. When I yeah. bought it in my third semester of college. Yeah. yeah. Well, I waited till my last quarter. But Kenny, I I go to log on to mine today. Okay, so get this, guys. This you need to get warranties and and, and insurance because the very first day I had my brand new laptop. Okay, Tim's finally back. I had my brand new laptop, Kenny. I spilt water on it. The very first day I had it soaked it so i took it right back to the store and i got a new one right because i had the insurance right well then i was so far along in this quarter that i kind of just put the computer away and now i go to get logged on to it and it had actually taken a password that i forgot i can't get on to my brand new spanking computer i got to take it back to the store and get it wiped <laughs> yeah well, oh, mine yeah. didn't actually have Mine didn't actually have a password. Oh, that's even worse, dude. You can't do that. Hey, I'm going to be sending these to Kenny. Okay, Kenny, uh, we got a, We got something for you here. What's that, bro? I'm going to be sending you a bag of these haunted ghost pepper uh, tortilla chips. Uh oh, everybody and, know. And You're going to send me what now? These if chips. You see me, if I can't. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, right there. Come in. So freaking, just tell him what it says. Hot. It says freaking hot. On the back. Freaking hot. Yeah. I've I've already had two of these chips tonight. I'm definitely sending these to you. Yeah. Honey hey. Goat uh, pepper. Hey, and can then, I? And then I'm going to send you Hey, we should be friends on Facebook. What? Oh. Hey, Tim, we should be friends on Facebook. Facebook? I'll send you a friend request. Okay. Sounds good. And that, and that way I can send you a um, messenger thing and I can send you my address to that. All right, sounds good. I want to send them to. All right. Well, I guess I have to watch the replay, George. <laughs> yeah, darling. Yeah, I'll have to. You said how, how long? Three, three hours? Four. four hours. Four and a half. Oh We're at four and a half. That's going to be a long one. Yeah, just put it on triple speed. <laughs> oh, I oh, want to yeah. understand what you're saying. Yeah. I like your green screen. Oh, you like our cabin here? Yeah. I want one for real. It looks like yeah, a town but still, cabin. Still, the green screens are kind of warpy. You looks know, like, a, uh, like a tiny house cabin. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. Yo, so our topic tonight was... Now. Yeah. Our topic tonight was is, is tiny tiny houses or tiny spaces. You know, somebody has a class A or you know diesel pusher big monster thing with slides popping out, and yet Mike Mike Don was up here first, and he's living in a cargo trailer. You know, well you you know what my dream is, right? What's that one? I forget. It's on my sticker. I'll show you. Okay. And, and you're talking tiny houses now. Yeah. But. See that? Scamp. Wait, let me turn off my green. No, screen. no, no. Bring it up. Bring it up. A scamp. Isn't that cool? Yep. Tilt it's it back. It's a bicycle camper, though. 
Oh yeah. And that is a mobility scooter. Yeah. Pulling it. That's so, awesome. Yeah. That's the ultimate yeah. tiny house. Oh yeah. That's, that's the yep. size of a of a scamp. Uh pull behind trailer. But it's a it's a for a bicycle. It's yeah. it's a lot smaller than you you think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tim, you could put four of them inside a scamp. Yeah. <laughs> if not more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lightly, gingerly, don't break them. Yeah. 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 Tiny. Yeah, I've seen those. Wow. Yeah. So that's my dream is to have a that mobility scooter scooter. It's called mm -hmm. an EG. It costs about mm, seven, eight thousand dollars though. But it has um, it has heating, air conditioning, CD player, windshield wipers, locking doors, um, everything that a little car would have. But it's it's yeah. considered a street legal mobility scooter, and uh, the camper is a bicycle camper that never actually came to fruition. Oh. The people that made it um, wanted wanted it to get somewhere but it was one of those things that nobody was buying so they didn't it never went any farther than the one, first one they made but i fell in love with it uh because i don't drive i'm 56 years old i've never had a license in my life what don't, don't plan on ever having a license and i would love to be able to do videos of me riding around with that little thing and mm -hmm. my little camper out there doing yeah. my own little camping trips and boondocking bicycle wise <laughs> well victoria you're not the only one that just came in look at who's on the screen now kathleen klein <laughs> yeah good early morning very late night over here for tim and i uh, yes, yep. I see. Tracy yeah. has hung in here with you. Yeah. Yep, know. Williams from Montana, Coldville. I just yeah. wanted to apologize for missing. No, it was shifty, email. Shifty today. Yeah. Oh, it should be six today. Okay. I didn't realize it was four hours ago. So sorry. It was George. fifty-six. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hope it won't stop you from inviting me down the road sometime. No. Quit <laughs> saying you're sorry. I'll start thinking of my emails once in a while. <laughs> Darling, there was there was many, many, many people that didn't show up. I mean, even Lance didn't come up on screen. I think everybody's just kind of been under the weather a bit. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So, Tracy. What? So, Tracy's leaving. Okay. Yep. All right. All right, guys, I want to wrap it up, man. It's been a long minute for us. We've had a good time. Got to still get a nightcap in. and But uh, Kenny, hey, had yeah. A, yeah. God bless. Stay safe and stay okay. awesome, everybody. Talk to you another time. Okay, thanks, dear. Good night, Kenny. Hope to see you Wednesday, you and Papa. Night, Vicky. Here. Good night, Kenny. Tim. Uh, Good okay. night, George. Alright, buddy. Uh, Thanks much. What's that, Kenny? Hey, uh, hey, Tim. Yeah. Can you send yeah. me a friend request? Uh, yeah. Guess that's right now, up. buddy. Let me look it up real quick. Yeah. Uh oh, there's winter storms. Uh, yeah, uh, major winter storms, um, Midwest to the southern states to the east coast. Oh my gosh! Well, <laughs> I hope that gets out of Kenny's way before he heads back. I think it should be. Um, Good idea. I actually think I should be done. By the time he lands. Yeah. Yeah, he's safe. I hope yeah, I'm safe. supposed to leave here on Tuesday from Phoenix at 11 Oh, not till Tuesday? Quit moving the phone. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. There we go. I'm on the phone. All right. Good. And I'm actually going to probably get off here because her phone's <laughs> her phone's down to seven percent. All right then. We've been trying to say goodbye. You were asking for know. a friend request, or we would have been gone. He'll send it to you, Kenny. All right. Yeah, I. I, uh, I, I see more than one. All right, buddy. See you, Kenny. Okay. All right, man. His internet's gone south. The battery's dying. All right, man. Take care, everybody. All right, Williams. Good night, buddy. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming in, man. That was awesome. We had some good time tonight. And I just want to thank our guests that were coming in. I mean, from way back, Stan and 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 Charlie Grace and everybody else that came up. That was great. I really loved it. And uh, we'll have to do this again next week. All right. Take care. <laughs>